Flint, how did you how did you oh. see the animal park? We okay. drove our cars through it. That is correct. You can no longer do that. Now you oh, have, have to take the bus. Now you have to pay admission to the park and then wait for a bus. That's correct. It's stupid. Hey, Robert. Rob. Yes. Rob. Yes. yes. Just have a brand new person in the cabal that joined because of an article you wrote. Wow, hey. very nice. His name is Matthew. Which, uh, which article? I don't know. He said he read one of your articles and he wanted to join our about team. gorillas. I haven't written about gorillas cups in quite a while. Maybe it's just been a while. He said one. it was an old article. I think from okay. 2018. Well, yeah, it was like one of the first things I ever wrote. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, it got this guy to join. Very cool. So he's he's Long here right live now. Articles the, on the internet. York, he just texted me. Thanks. I'll take a look at the materials and post it. Where Where is he from? Uh, well, he was at the University of Hawaii, and now he's in New York City. New York City. <laughs> Get a... So you can start uh, on working on him for coming to PsyCon next year already. <laughs> already. All right. Uh, we have a few people who will arrive late, but that's okay. Uh, next... That's you. Good um, <clears> Um. <throat> Next week, we are going to have Thanksgiving. I will not be here, but we just can't miss a Thursday. It just can't. And so Adrian and Karen are going to be helping us out. So somehow or other, I'm going to work with them to get this taken care of. I hope you guys on show On Thursday up. or on Friday? Maybe Thursday. Um, okay. It, will it be by text or email that you'll put us in touch? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. Do I have to? Uh, I well, I was gonna, I was gonna have Adrian figure out how to get her so that she can use a Zoom account. So, and then you guys, you'll figure it out. There'll only be like fifteen of you. You can do it. Well, I just have to be able to talk to Adrian. Adrian. Yeah, she's gonna run it, and I'm gonna help, right? Yeah. Well, I'll put you guys into the. Uh, uh, I'll share the. Uh, get, Karen, give me your email that you want me to use for your. Um, the spreadsheet adrian will yeah, probably yeah. be better at doing that because i'm sure she has multiple screens yeah just the one that i only have the one email address so i'll i'll re resend that to you okay sounds good oh i probably have it i probably have it but i need it to put in the um let me do it right now while i have you on this thing it's my first initial last name and zip code and i don't care if it's recorded because it's listed on the internet in multiple places Oh, that's weird. That is really it. I sent you. I sent you a recent friend screenshot of a friend. Request. Oh, there it is. There it is. I see it now. It just didn't want to come up on my thing. I guess I've got a lot of K's that are friends. Is Wendy not playing tonight? Uh no. She is going to. Um, what is she doing? She's at a play. I told her she could have one permission slip. <laughs> okay here you go karen you should have permissions now to be able to get into the social trivia by susan spreadsheet but karen you have to promise you will not look at the tab that says future trivia you can oh, look I at promise everything else. I, won't. I like because that is where i like practice like making categories and stuff like that and i don't want anybody to get a heads up on any of my no problem i do not want to know I everything like else you can look at i don't care I like playing and being surprised. Why did you give us a test? Monday? Carl just sent us a test. One, uh, two, three. Uh, because I'm I'm seeing some of the chat messages showing up in kind of chaotic order. So what else is new? <laughs> that's us. <laughs> that's, that's absolutely yeah. exactly as it should be. <laughs> it looks like I'm psychic okay. if you read the message with Jim. <laughs> so I'm not the only braggers one proving they can count. Oh my God. Show <laughs> off. You know how men are. Oh, it's Peggy's getting involved in this too. My goodness, kids. Or oh is it, no. Is it is it her dog that's doing it? Okay, let's get next week's. Okay. So here's what's going on. Um, I will need volunteers for next week and to uh be categories. It will be a short you guys just make it up if you want to make it short or whatever. We just have to have a Thursday event. Okay. That's all I care about. And um and getting it done, Karen. Um, I'm sure Adrian can handle the the recording, so that it goes to so we can have it. But that, but let's get between the two of you. 
you work it out. Okay, and she'll be here in a little bit. So we have tonight uh Bill, Deborah, Karen, and Mike. What is the name of your winning team tonight? Um Wasp 107B. Deep, fiery, gritty, and sort of fluffy. What? <laughs> Is that, that a a jet? Is, that it a, is. is that some sort of like a reference to some porn thing or something or what is it definitely maybe. not porn it's an exoplan maybe. oh exoplan definitely not porn not porn oh, there is I an see. x involved but it's an exoplan that's true <laughs> leonard knows you can't say definitely leonard you don't know what's on that planet hey i just said it so it's on the internet the name is porn. not related none, none of the <laughs> things in that description were related to porn hi faith don't kink shame nice to have you back. Fluffy. I don't know. <laughs> i'm not really I'm, with you, Kyle. I'm, I'm happy to go deep look at faith and romero we're talking to him and they're like oh we're eating cheesecake <laughs> oh mm. yeah, that's awesome. right. As we oh my cheesecake. gosh look at Pri that priorities i was saying yeah. hello faith it's nice to have you back good to be back i hear you're going to go to disney world yes Boy, you sure you don't want to go to Iceland? <clears throat> That's That's You're late. going on Monday? No, in 59 days. Oh, in 15 oh, we're not days. counting or anything. Uh, no, I take the app. <laughs> Good Lord. Okay, so well, I'm also going to Disney World. No way, really? When? 59 Week days. after Thanksgiving. Why? Well, With your I'm going to the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> I just ordered. A new okay. toothbrush on Amazon. Oh, wow. Oh. You know what you know what I Mike, heard? What are you talking about? Like You're gonna go to movie. Disney World with a toothbrush? What? What? <laughs> no, I'm both going. Someone said they were ordering a toothbrush or they were brushing their teeth, going to the dentist. Are what? you going to are you going, Mike? Are you going to Disney World also? Yes. With your nieces? No, just me. I get free tickets at my work now, so <gasps> Oh my gosh. You're going to go by are you yourself single? to Mike, Disney are you World single? some guy? <laughs> All alone? <laughs> you by yourself I'm just like saying a, a creepy old guy yeah, wandering around Disney creepy, World. Especially if you're you holding a dick. You can get in the single You know you could give those tickets away to people, Mike. Free Disney. Yeah, give yeah. them away. Goodness mm. gracious. People. Um, a friend of mine on Facebook is in Tokyo, and I started talking to her about her trip, and she said, I got a ticket an airline ticket to Tokyo for $250. Yeah. And you can too leave departing from San Jose or SFO on Zip Air. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You Google Zip Air. Zip line. But you get to go on, on a, a 787 Dreamliner. Not bad. Really? As, yeah. as luggage. <laughs> are you, are are you part here. of a trial period while it's getting approved? At least like one of the test? engines will be attached to the plane at the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are horses, hor plenty of horses in the uh, luggage area. Do they pick I might, up in I one might of those storing units? Might, yeah. Oh. I don't know. I wouldn't fit in there. but <laughs> There's nothing I would eat in Tokyo. Okay. That's Alan. a problem. Yeah, that's a problem. Alan, Janine, Carl, and Ron, what do you got? Justin, oh, she's not named winner it. of this week's trivia. I love it. Somebody was thinking Thank today. You. you guys all saw that article I hope that I wrote? Oh, that is excellent. If somebody gets up, can you put it in the chat? I removed it off of my tabs. That was so much fun. And you know what? Her Wikipedia, <laughs> her Wikipedia stats did not jump up. At least they haven't yet. So people were reading the article, sharing it, commenting, but they were not looking at the Wikipedia article. Well, because you, you, you let away the, the secret. Well, I still said, still, you need to go check because I've, I've, anyway. Yeah, but people don't follow directions. No, obviously yeah. not. Jamie <laughs> loves it. True. She thought it's great. So did George Rob. He loved it too. All right. Gail, Jamie, Kevin, and Robin, what's your team name tonight? <clears throat> Iceland and Trump. Both spew toxic hot gas. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's really good too. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Leonard, Peggy, Faith, Romero, and Rob. The vomitorium is on your right. <laughs> that's a reference to disney world by the way excellent yes. reaction susan <laughs> like what i've never been to disney world and despite how it sounds it just means the exit 
Yeah. So there you go. Oh, okay. Ben, Cindy, James, Kyle, and eventually Adrian. <laughs> there you go. Say it. <laughs> you, have to, you have to read it for the millions of people who will be watching this, but don't. You can have my it. chocolate when you can pry it from my cold, dead hand. <laughs> That's what I'm A little chocolate here. rifle. That's excellent. Okay, so tonight, 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 November 16th, 2023, this is the last game of 100, 180 anythings. We're at 189. Next week is 190, still in season four, believe it or not. And we have five teams. How many? Five teams that are, that are dueling it out. Five. It just so happens to be the same amount of numbers on one hand of mine. I don't know about your hands, but there are five <laughs> fingers on my hand. And we have all these teams that are going to be battling it out. And the teams that are battling it out tonight are Wasp, 107B, Deep, Fiery, Gritty, and Sort of Fluffy. Versus Justin, Jimmy Scott, named winner of this week's trivia. Versus Iceland and Trump, both spew toxic hot gas. Versus the vomitorium is on your right. Versus you can have my chocolate, but you can pry it from my cold, dead hands. <laughs> so tonight, our leaders, our team leaders, or whatever leaders they are. Let's give them leader names. Karen! She has to go first so she can get her uh, alcohol consumption in afterwards. <laughs> Followed by <laughs> Carl with a K. Followed by Jamie. I gave your sister and your group, so you guys be nice. Yes. It's Thanksgiving <laughs> week, so I thought I'd let you guys be in the same team. Peggy. <laughs> Peggy and George are going to be doing a category tonight. Followed by the bonus, which is Adrian. She told me to warn you guys, you will all hate her. So um, I don't know what's going on with that. Just letting you know. Um, I do need to fill up next week or we, we're going to come up with, I don't know, Karen and Adrian are going to do something weird. Next so, week might be a social hour. <laughs> with some, <laughs> they, well, because they'll have, they'll be able to go back to our old trivia game. They'll be able to go back and look at some of the best hits. And just as long as it's recorded, I don't care. You got to have some trivia because we can't miss the trivia game. No, we can't do that. All right, so we're ready to start. Let me see here. We're starting off with Karen, who's going to be our first contestant to to uh, to mess with you guys and to uh, um, see what she can do about uh, making this a difficult game for you. Well, I Except did not check this against the list, which I usually do. So you we, have control. You have the list. If we've done this category before. We're doing it again tonight. <laughs> <laughs> different questions i hope I don't, I, I don't think we've done it but i always paint when i don't check i always think we've done this before i'm gonna blow it but we'll Karen, we don't remember it doesn't matter the category matter. <laughs> the category is cheddar man um why would you think we've done that before i have no idea i don't it's, even know what cheddar man is excavated in 1903 cheddar man it's just susan is Britain's oldest near complete human skeleton. The remains are kept in the Human Evolution Gallery by London's Natural History Museum. And from whose website these uh, questions come. Hey, Karen, we, we had Gouda Man and Provolone Man and <laughs> yeah. Man, but no, no Cheddar Man. You're in luck, Karen. Man. You got lucky. <laughs> okay. All, All right. right, people. So I'm not muting people. Um, no, so we're... the first question is oh, Okay, we don't need two ones in front. There we go. Uh, ancient DNA from Cheddar Man, a Mesolithic skeleton discovered in 1903 at Goff's Cave in Blank Gorge, Somerset, uh, has helped museum. Oh, is that all it says? Hmm? Has helped museum. Oh, we need the last part of that sentence. Has helped museum scientists. paint a portrait of one of the oldest modern humans in Britain. Fill in the blank. Goff's Cave in Blank Gorge, Somerset. Okay, number two. Cheddar Man. <laughs> Cheddar Man. Uh, he is the oldest, almost complete 
skeleton of blank ever found in Britain. He's the, he is the oldest, almost complete skeleton of blank ever found. And if you know the answer, um, it will, no, no, I'm sorry. I do, I should give you my, um, it is a, uh, a type of, um, you want to fill that in with, uh, with two Latin words. Oh. He is the oldest complete skeleton of some type of, of thing. And How does it say two, a man? And it's two Latin words. <laughs> okay. Okay. That, okay. There we go. And um, all right. Now this is a multiple choice for number three. Number three says about Cheddar Man, a surprise is that some, a surprise to the scientists is that some of the earliest modern human inhabitants of Britain may, may not have been blank the way one might expect. They may not have not been. They may not have blank the way one might expect. They may not have hunted, gathered, migrated, looked, or walked the way one might expect. And that's an A, a through E choice there. Okay. And number four. Cheddar Man died in his 20s. Aww. And, he just uh, begun, begun to live. And uh, mm -hmm. so he was no, That was probably dude. geriatric at that Maybe. time. Maybe. He died in his 20s. How tall was Cheddar Man? Plus or minus one inch. How tall was Cheddar Man? Plus or minus one inch. Okay. And this is a little, little background and then a question. Here you go. Uh, so one of the scientists uh, working on this is Dr. Tom Booth. And um, Dr. Tom Booth is a postdoctoral researcher working closely with the museum's human remains collection to investigate human adaptation to changing environments. He states that we cannot make assumptions about what people look like in the past based on what people look like in the present, and that the pairings of features we are used to seeing today are not, aren't something that's fixed. What color were Cheddar Man's eyes? Given that, what color what, were Cheddar Man's eyes? So oh, interesting. Okay, number six. When first found, there were claims that Cheddar Man was the long sought earliest Englishman with exaggerated dates of 40,000 to 80,000 years. But subsequent radiocarbon dating from the 1970s onward suggests he lived around blank years ago. That is plus or minus 1,000. Number seven, it is uncertain. It's uncertain whether a hole in his forehead was from an infection or blank. A from a battle wound that likely killed him, B, from an accidental fall that likely killed him, C, from a birth defect, D, from a ritual or tribal marking, E, from damage at the time of excavation. Which of, which of those is the answer? Um, for eight, for eight, we have this question. Uh, dense bone is is key, um, is key to holding, uh, that, that's okay, I, this is incorrectly uh, worded. Dense bone is key to holding the most protected ancient uh, DNA. That's the way that should read. In the last several years, scientists seeking that dense bone have shifted from using leg bones and teeth to using bones from this area of the body. And I know that's vague, this area of the body. I'll be generous with that. So... Where is the most dense bone in the body? What area of the body can the most dense bone be found? And it's not in the teeth or leg bones, as many people think. Mm -hmm. Number nine, to develop a portrait of Cheddar Man, scientists used next generation shotgun sequencing, sequencing which involves defining millions of fragments of blank distributed randomly across the genome to create a library of Cheddar Man's makeup and a map and map what they uh, found against a modern human genome. Fill in the blank. And finally, 
Chan is modern day British people share approximately what percentage, that's a percentage of our genetic ancestry or well, their gen genetic ancestry with the European population to which Cheddar Man belonged, but they aren't direct descendants. Current thinking is that the uh, Mesolithic, Mesolithic uh, population that Cheddar Man belonged to was mostly replaced by the farmers that migrated into Britain later. Plus or minus two, plus or minus two percent. Fill in the blank with the percentage, the approximate percentage. Any questions? This is very interesting. I, my question is, why would you think we'd done this before? Who knows? Question I, I, on... I always think that. I always think that. And then I go look at the list and I say, okay, we haven't done it. I didn't go look at the list this time. Well, now you will be able to go into the spreadsheet and you should check to make sure you can get in. And you will be able to go to the category of, I don't know, you should be able to just go into the Q&A, which is past Q&A okay. and hit control F and look and see if you look up cheddar. Wonderful. Wait, wait, we have other questions. Kyle said, and I have a question. Yeah. Oh, is oh, nine wait. a single word? Nine. It is a single word or phrase. Okay. <laughs> the blanks, no, the number of spaces and the how long lines are have to has to do with my uh word document, not relative to anything else. What's the other question that was asked? Needed to be asked? Uh, I just think there's one word missing. It's not really that important, but number no, six. No, I, I did. I made a mistake in that one. Uh, no, 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 no. There's another one. 40 just to 80. call me if you need me. Which one? Never mind. Call, call me, if, me you if you need me. All right, let's go. I have to do it again? No, no. All right, who's the expert here on Cheddar Men? <laughs> not a clue maybe it's bill <laughs> bill are you the expert on cheddarman now if this is mozzarella man <laughs> i'd be all over <laughs> I, oh. bill i think you're muted yeah he's answering all the questions and he's he's muted and we can't hear him mm -mm. i was muted yeah so anyway, the only thing i really know about cheddar is i'd like a lot of it in my bank account <laughs> Number one, clearly the answer is Cheddar Gorge. That's why they call him Cheddar Man. Oh, um, that does I make sense. Smart. Those good old Brits are so. Two is maybe I don't know Homo sapien or Homo, I'd say Homo sapien. Huh? Homo sapien, I'd say really? Homo sapien. That's that makes sense. Now, if we're talking Mesolithic, I don't think we're talking. Well, it says you know. human, so depending on how. A, a surprise that some of the earliest modern human inhabitants of Britain may not have. I think it's hunted. Isn't there been a, a new article about this that they call them hunter and gatherers, but they're not really, or maybe it seems like I heard that one of those two hunter or gathering isn't is, is what we thought. Seems like I think I saw that. Article. I think I saw that article too, but I didn't really. But it was one of those two words, happen. wasn't it? They may not have um, gathered or they may not have hunted. I know yeah. they have hunted, right? I don't know how you would tell that from the skeleton. I, I, I think it was their diet. So you would know because they didn't have... Okay. That makes sense, okay, if it was hunted and they hunted. don't have whatever animal I mean, was... We're guessing, I don't, unless anyone has any better answer. I mean, it might have been the tools they may have found with them, too. Right. Well, if they if they only have in their diet like small things that are like rats or bugs or whatever, and not like mastodon or whatever would have been there, I don't know. How tall was he? Five two. No, yeah. people getting taller lately. Let's go. I think smaller. Five, I put four no. four six. I don't want four six no. works for me. Five 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 ten five six. What? But that's how tall I am. That they weren't that tall. They couldn't have been uh, that tall. Th this was a young, uh, strong uh, man. Yeah, that didn't have one body. a day vitamins when he was a kid either. Yeah, well, I, I, <laughs> I, I still think. Well, <clears throat> I still think he was. You know, that that's about my height. I'm I'm five eight, so I'd say he's probably. I don't just think them. Bit, 
I don't think the Mesolithic people were that tall. No, uh, Astropaleopithecus was like <laughs> three foot nine or something like that. This, like, this is Homo sapiens. This is us. I know, but yeah, but okay, people. but look at some of the people around the world, even in the last fifty or sixty years, that well, aren't and as well nourished the, as look ours. At, look at the Watusi in Africa that averaged six foot three. Let's go to question five and argue about this one later. Okay. Okay. We can argue later. Dr. Tom Booth. Good for him. Um, um oh, what color are his eyes? That guy's brown. brown. You want to say blue. brown, but blue. Why? Why blue? Brown is because... dominant. A blue uh, is dominant if you have the gene. Well, that's true. I I I think that you know everybody thinks that some that the older uh, people were the more similar to modern Africans, and I think that this is true in some part of this guy and not true. I think he's dark skinned. But uh, blue eyes. I'm fine with blue because that's the first thing I thought of. But I just didn't okay. know why you thought blue. All right, I don't know how you'd even like know. Brown. But... Well, I don't know. <laughs> um, red, green, what other colors <laughs> could there be? I mean, you know, aqua. Well, that, they, um, they could be, you know, hazel. Uh, but no, I think they were blue. Yeah, how would they even know? Uh, the 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 genes you can they can oh, read uh, okay. the genes these days and that's also probably how they tell what color his, his skin was at least englishman okay uh i would say 10,000 10 i was going to say 12 go with 11 i don't have a yeah, well, okay. 11 would split the difference cuz we have a thousand years either way Okay, 11. It's unclear whether a hole in his forehead was from uh, probably from B, an accidental fall that likely killed him at 20? No. Uh, it was a battle wound. Really? Yeah. You know? Or you think? I'm playing Karen right now. Uh, do you know the answer? or do you just I don't it? know the answer, but uh, if it's a battle wound, then he might have been old. He might have made him taller, you know, because he's a warrior kind of guy. That, yeah, uh, I don't know if they're all the same size; it wouldn't matter. Yeah, well, he had his Flintstones, and the others didn't. <laughs> oh god okay i, I don't know i i would all right we can go with out. wound i don't know, I don't know. I, battle seems a little sophisticated for something that long ago that's what i'm thinking i was gonna say a fight but a battle kind of implies an organized groups of people well, doing it, stuff. But it implies it implies uh with a weapon rather than yeah uh, yeah but would you, it, I yeah. mean, uh, uh, two two armed and armored men could be a battle all by themselves. I suppose. So what I'm, I'm thinking. Do you think this guy was? I, I'm thinking it. I'm thinking he was killed in a fight. Yeah. Okay. Well, sure. All right. Eight. Um, dense bone. Where is the darn densest bone? Skull. You think the skull? It's got to protect it. Yeah. So Hmm. Yeah, at least parts of it, huh? Yeah. I'll, do, I'll go with wow, that. Wow, 11,000 years ago isn't that long ago. No, no it's it not. So this, is, so this is a very modern man. He is modern. Apparently. Yeah, I didn't even think about it. I was thinking this is way back. So yeah, he could have mm -mm. been taller. Um, yeah, so I, I was let, thinking this is old. It's just the oldest British man. Right? That's the kind yeah. of thing? Yeah. Um, portrait scientist next generation shotgun sequencing. So, um, the fragments of I'm assuming that's DNA. 
Yeah, I'd go with that. Okay, so what percentage they just think they hi Karen, they aren't direct descendants because he only made it to twenty. Current <laughs> well, yeah, it wouldn't be direct descendants of him for sure. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't well, know. It maybe, maybe it was a stud. He was a he was the Genghis Khan of ancient Britain. <laughs> With blue <laughs> eyes. Okay. Yeah. Current thinking is that the he was long to was mostly replaced by farmers. That migrated in Britain later. Ultra minus two percent. Oh, I think um, Neanderthal and stuff like that. You know, people get like two and four percent of their DNA has is Neanderthal. This That's is way maybe, longer. This ago. is Homo sapiens. This is not. Well, then yeah. this would be really a lot more percentage, you would think, because mm. so I have like two percent Neanderthal. Oh, the farmers that moved in; those would be the uh, uh, Angles coming from um, Middle Europe, uh, and so the. Uh, I'm going with seven. I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> I don't because it's got to be more than two. It's probably closer to ten. Maybe we have two per, two points, two percentage points to play with. You want to say ten? You know, we got eight and. Uh, and I'm uh, just 12. a guest here, and I, 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 I would I would say even more than that. Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, I'll okay. go with fifteen or go we're with thirteen. Karen, we're going to need more time on this one. No, we aren't. Don't like we have an height. argument oh, about another one? The the height? We only have we the height. I still think five five foot five or five foot six. Five hmm. five. Five five? All right. I think that's tall. I'm just but... guessing. Okay, that's the only one we didn't have an answer for, right? I think so. So you want to go 15% or 13%? How much percent? I'm thinking 13 because then that gives us 15. Because I yeah. doubt it's as much as 17. Let's do 13. I'm just playing the odds. I don't really know. I don't have an answer for you. That's pretty much all you can do. Deborah, you should have gone with Karen and Cindy and I and Robin and, and Mark over to the movies. That would have been fun. But it didn't even start till 730. What did you, what did you see? Priscilla. How I don't even know what that is either. Uh, I think all of us went home and looked at the uh, Wikipedia page. And showed us that Elvis Presley is was freaking messed up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what it was about. Yeah, my it friend was about, it was about the Priscilla. life of uh, Elvis, and uh, well, it was about her life, and it was. I thought it was well done. The this this dress and and all that was interesting, but boy, it was Elvis. It, Wait, it's Priscilla her. is still alive, though, or is yeah. she? She's a Scientologist. At least Marie does. She was. They weren't going to do that. They're going to keep doing it. Good job, Karen. Do Mozzarella Man next. <laughs> mozzarella. Mozzarella. You're muted, Karen. Mozzarella. Let me. Parmesan. She pulled Parmesan. this up where I can see you all. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I thought that we had done this. Yeah, you all right. We've had some strange categories, but this is not one. Better man. Okay. Oh, and let me. Be hey, ready to show you the picture of Cheddar Man. Oh, we have a photo of him. Ooh. I saw I saw an article the other day, and I did look at it. I I don't think it helped me answer any of the questions. I was going to say, did the, it help you? I saw the picture. I know I know the picture that's coming. Is he up. sexy looking? Yeah, he's, he's not bad. An overdose of cheese. He is now Cheddar Man. <laughs> okay. Does it look better than the Peruvian mummies of aliens? Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. it's a, it's a oh, it's those like a cakes. Computer generated picture of our okay. little movie star so okay where are you and where there oh there you are and here are the answers yay that's a good that's a good pairing all right up karen up 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 all right so let's look at these answers up, up, up. uh what is the name of you know the gorge I mean, sometimes, sometimes you all check your um uh, talk yourself out of things you know i don't think you did so in this case but the answer to number one is cheddar yay <laughs> that one right. oh. good job mike oh job team 
And yes, so that would have been the obvious answer. Well, yeah. but, it, but that we didn't get that we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, he is with the good old team Homo sapiens. Hey, Cindy, you guys didn't put Parmesan, did you? <laughs> In England? Parmesan courts. <laughs> and number three, you know, what were they surprised to? Um, oh, no, I'm not going to put Homo sapiens again. What were they surprised by? Uh, and again, this is 1903, right? And then and then they learned more and more over the years, right? D, they were surprised how he looked. He had genetic markers for skin oh. pigmentation, usually associated with sub-Saharan Africa. Oh, oh wow. Oh, I they, didn't know they, that. they were surprised by how he looked. And so were we. There you go. I still haven't seen him. All right. Now, everybody, uh, for number four, it says inches. So translate your answer into inches. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Okay. Okay. Math. We have math people in our group. I don't need to. The question <laughs> is, Guys, <laughs> the answer is, let me see. Okay. And then I'll give it to you in centimeters. And that's it. So um, he was about five feet and a half inch or 65.4 inches. That's 166 centimeters. So if you got 64.4 to 66.4 inches, you got it. So he's five foot tall and a, and a half an inch. Mm. No, that's four wow. inches. That's five no. foot four. Five foot five. Foot five. Is it? five yeah. foot five. Thank yeah, you very it's five much. Foot five. Yeah. You're kidding. Five foot five. Five, 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 five foot five. Didn't we well, actually that's five and, and a half feet. feet. Thank yeah. you very much. Sorry, Carl. So I should not have tried to quickly convert that. I should have just left my answer at 65.4 inches. <laughs> yeah. And that's exactly yeah. what we guessed. Yes. yes. Interesting. Exactly. So he was a he was job. tall for his time. Oh, he must have, and, he must have and, internalized that. And, and yay, Bill. He yeah. had it right on. He had one of the tower over and, here today. And, 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 to like talk them out of it. And Peggy, we don't have to say, uh, you know. Yeah, you. I don't get to say I told you so because <laughs> I really thought he'd be five feet tall. So I we have uh, 64 inches. We didn't take it out to the Ooh. decimal point. So I Ooh, guess well, we, we're, we're just just a bit outside. A little shy. So I'm going to correct Missed the, by uh, that the record much. here. I should have left it. I should know better than to make changes like that on the fly. It's, it is not my strong suit. First four. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so uh, what color were uh, his eyes? And I think a lot of you got this. They were blue. And as stated in number three, right. that dark skin. Huh? How do wow. they know? How would they find out if the, the color of his eyes? Science. Genetics. 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 Genes that tell you. Yeah, they have the DNA. Genetics. They know in the DNA. Okay, here we go. Number six. So first they were saying it was like, you know, 40 to 80,000 years old. In fact, it was nine to 10,000 10, 10, years ago. So if you put, oh, um, if you put, uh, because they really say nine to 10,000. So if you got seven to 12, you got it. And I just want to say Susan had the correct answer. <laughs> hey, Susan. I pulled that Susan. one. I pulled that answer out of my nether regions. I hope that you did. Yeah, good job, James. Down, there was a time I had the right answer. Wait, I think you did the math wrong again there. Uh, Karen, you said plus or minus a thousand. So oh, did I? Not plus nine, or minus two. That doesn't go down to seven. Thank you very much. It's not plus or minus two thousand. No, you gave one. I gave one. Okay, thank you. So eight to eleven. Make yeah. it eight to eleven because really it was nine to ten thousand years ago. So um, we'll give it to people who said eight to eleven. All right, generous Karen. And if you already gave yourself a point for twelve and you're disappointed to not have that point, <laughs> I'll give you the point. I'll give you a clean. Uh, you could cry in my cry in a tissue. We don't want disappointed people. We okay. don't want that. So no. I forget what number seven was. Oh yeah, the hole in his head. Oh, oh poor I'm guy. Most interested to see what you can you tell can. Can, okay, well, tell me after what you said. I'm interested who thought what. But the answer was damage at the time of excavation. Oh. 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 I wondered about that. Oh, they could be that sloppy. Man. 
But I, guess, I can't believe they couldn't tell. Right, yeah, that's the part that had me done. No, that's true. Right, but that's that's yeah. That was our thinking. Is Seems that like a if it was done during thing. excavation, they would have known it. So he'd yeah. still be alive if they hadn't messed up with his. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. They killed him. Oh, yeah, wait, it's ten thousand years, and then they find him and they kill him right kill away. Him. Right. Yeah, they know it's the hibernating. They know it's the color of his eyes, but they can't tell if it was a tool that did. The- <laughs> Oh, is that the famous sad. video that we see where someone's that's chiseling and they chisel right into the skull? <laughs> and they go, well, yes, if, you, if you are excavating, it's it's possible you could just go. I mean, somebody's got to make the first hit to the. Yeah, but you'd think you'd be able to tell. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, Somebody, on the bone itself. Some careless intern did it and then tried to cover it up really well. Yeah, that's yeah. Well, I don't know why that hole was there. Okay, our well, official yeah. agent. I got here. So what did you guys you... put for that one? What did teams put for that one? A. B. Ritual. B. We did A. We, had a. we, we, did the same. we got A. We had B. Yeah. Ritual. He went, he, he went from Cheddar Man to Swiss. There you go. Very <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Too, too soon. Maybe. Poor <laughs> Cheddar now, Man. Um, now, that's Gouda. That is a Gouda. Oh, oh, that's a Gouda. Oh, oh, yeah. um, I one, disagree with you. This one. <laughs> this one is interesting. <laughs> This one's interesting to me because I had never heard this until I read this uh, page in the there the museum, which I, I'll give you the link at the end. But the most dense bone in the human body is the petros. It's an inner ear bone. So if you said oh, the ear, oh, the oh, ear. Oh, oh, I should ear. say I told you so, Peggy. An ear. So an, an ear I wondered about yet. that, but I we didn't wow. say that. Okay. okay. But who knew that besides Faith? Who knew that? I mean, we that was an that. educated guess. That was an educated guess. Oh, you pulled that right out of your ass, Faith. But based on you have a ham or an anvil in there, so. But why would it be hard? Faith, why, why were you thinking it would be the dentist? The, um, and the densest just because of how i mean bone conduction and what they have to do and where they are located just their function got it thank yeah. you well okay. it's inside your skull so Dennis. and um and for the hard-headed kyle, people when kyle asked uh about number nine i i didn't because i figured most people would say a common a common way of expressing this thing really it was one word so if this one word either in its common representation or the one word itself is included in your answer even if you added adjectives and other things around it you get the answer and and for number nine it's deoxyribonucleic acid otherwise known as dna so there if you if you called it scattered dna or if you included other words it's okay you still get it as long as you got dna in the answer dna okay oh and i have a feeling that some of you are going to be um upset maybe about the answer I, i'm thinking of kyle's comment about that we share like 90 percent of our dna with a banana or something like that <laughs> <laughs> the answer i'm Way looking go, for Kyle. The answer I'm looking for, according to their uh, article about the genetic makeup, is 10% of the genetic, yes. genetic ancestry. On, my team. on the head. Oh. So 8 to 12. It. That's where I was thinking. That, so it's no, 8 I think to we're 12. Little, what did we end up putting? 13? We put the 13. Yeah. Uh, we were close. We got, we were, got we were it. right around it. Okay. And we're then here off. is the link to the uh, Natural History Museum there. And let me uh, let me show you. Allow me to show you. I want to see his blue eyes. Uh, how could his number be? How could the number be that low? It is. Oh wow, that's hmm. what they think he looks like, huh? Yeah. And then down here, I think this is kind of funny. Uh, there's a. I'm trying to scroll on the screen. No, Mira. Yeah. Like, look at that. Right. That looks like Jesus together. there. But I want to show you this. This is what looks uh, funny to me. So they're all posing uh, with Cheddar Man. So uh, I think this is this is kind of funny. Where is it? Oh, this. this oh, <laughs> you stop right here. Just stop right here, right? <laughs> He's better looking than all of them. Yeah. Is he? And, is he about and then that there's height? one more. There's one more. Uh, apparently, uh, uh, this Ooh. one right here. Uh, who was the woman uh, with? John the Baptist. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Oh, yeah. I was the exact same thing. Wow, they thought he was that dark. Yeah. 
That's so interesting. It looks like chocolate, man. It to- hey! does look like chocolate. <laughs> wow, that is a lot of cadmium then. It's an Easter treat. There you go. Okay, let's oh. hear the scores. Well, it, if it was that chocolate, it would be Cadbury, man. Mm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. So it's right. The, it's the glossy. The yeah, he, he, yeah, because it's England, right? Yeah. Right. Oh, it's in a Ghirardelli. <laughs> Ghirardelli, <laughs> man. That was very interesting. Thank you very much. I am much more knowledgeable now. Uh, if I don't lose. I, I don't understand even, how it could be that low of a percentage of if he's yeah. a homo sapien. Yes, I know. I know. You take it up with them, Kevin. Yeah. Well, we, we hit it exactly right, so we figured it out. There might yeah, but be if some... if we if we share ninety five percent with chimpanzees it's, and exactly. he's a Homo sapien, it, it's, it's, how is it less? It's, 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 it's kind of how much? Comparison. It's how much within a, uh, the spread yeah. of humanity? Yeah. Right. So this is genetic genetic ancestry. Yeah. yeah. I think the key word in there was ancestry. Ah, yeah. uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. if you were to say. Somehow. If it's a genetic much, code, that might have been yeah, a different you language. Your DNA you know, on ancestry yeah, 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 or twenty three yeah. and me, it would come up how many Neanderthals. Okay, we were thinking it was uh, like it was. Yeah, we were all Homo sapiens, so it's I, like to put us on the frame. I asked how, what, what percent are Europeans with Neanderthals, and even that is like five or so. So, so um, as you as you prepare to give your scores, I will say. Cheers and thank you for putting All me All right. Here. Drink up, Karen. That was great. Well thank done. you, Karen. You can have my chocolate when you pry it from my cold, dead hands, people. <laughs> Four. Wow. The vol- vomitorium is on your right. Oh, uh, we got an eight. Nice. Wow. Iceland and Trump both spew toxic hot gas. Was that somebody sneezing or was it no, Peggy she saying sit? I think she was saying sit. I thought I was muted. Sit, sit. sit down, you guys. I'm I'm sitting. <laughs> Do we have an answer for Iceland and Trump both spew toxic gas? Yeah. Six, six, six. Oh, so it was close to sit. Just in, Jeannie Scott, named winner of this week's trivia. Seven. Seven. Yep. Wow. Wasp one oh seven B deep, fiery, gritty, and sort of fluffy. I think we had six. Wow, team five, not so good. No, yeah, they're all very close. Not Four. Yeah. Oh, what did we say? Six. How many did six? Yeah, wasp. for us. Okay, okay. Yeah. Wasp was six. Yeah. All right. Good job, Karen. And next up, we good have job, Carl. Where are you, Carl? Where are you? I got that. He's around. I can't recognize him, and his head's to the side. Blah, 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 blah. Not to the there side. There you are. Got it. Okay. So let's go. Next up. Go for it. Uh, so this just it. I just found this uh, modern recreation of what Cheddar Man would look like. <laughs> <laughs> What's the SC stand Wisconsin. for? Super Cheddar. SC? Super Cheddar. <laughs> Some Cheddar. Did you know Super it's not cheddar. actually yellow? We dye it? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Just what like color would be? White? White. Don't, yeah. don't tell her that. Oh. So is margarine. Margarine is white and, and yep. butter. Hmm. So it shouldn't be called white cheddar. It should be called cheddar and yellow cheddar. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Liars. Okay. Oh, what, now would be a really great. good time to say hello real quick. Mark is here and he wants to say hello. Hey, hey Mark. Mark. Hey, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hello, Mark. Hi, They're just about to Ask him which time. team is going to win. Ask him which team. Mark. Karen wants to know Hi. which team is going to win. Hi. Hello. Hi. Here they are. Wasp 107, beef, deep, fiery, gritty, and sort of fluffy. Or Justin, Jeannie Scott named the winner of this week's trivia. Or Iceland and Trump, both spew toxic hot gas. Or their vomitorium is on your right. Or you can have my chocolate when you pry it for my cold dead hands. Vomitorium. All right. So All right. <laughs> Leonard, Peggy, Faith, or Marin, Rob. You've got no pressure. The psychic, the psychic um, have fun advice. Thank you, Mark. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Mark. Mark. I'm actually mad I didn't come up with the Eugenie Scott line since I did it from the stage. I should have come up. With yeah, you should have. You should. You should be. And th- I'm really sad that these. I just looked at. I'll show you guys in a minute the page views. Go ahead. And it, and it came from somebody who didn't even go to PsychCon. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Well, somebody... they, they, they must have read the article. Yep. Yep. All right. So, Great Movie Put-Downs and Slams, Volume 2. Ooh. I will read a bunch of insults for movies, and you name what movie the insult came from. 
Hmm. All right. Number one, 1989 comedy film. Take this quarter, go downtown, and have a rat gnaw that thing off your face. Number two, 1980 comedy film spoken by character Al Serzovic. Oh, that's your wife, huh? A lovely lady. Hey, baby, you must have been something before electricity. Number three. Nineteen eighty seven film. Cab dispatcher. Why don't you try the airlines? It's faster and you get a free meal. Neil, if I wanted a joke, I'd follow you into the John and watch you take a leak. Number four. Nineteen eighty four comedy film. It's true. This man has no dick. Number five, nineteen ninety four comedy film. Hey, try not to suck any dick on the way out through the parking lot. You realize you're getting this video demonetized. <laughs> Number six, 2008 comedy film. Spoken by character Les Grossman. First, take a big step back and literally F your own face. Number seven, Kevin Costner in a 1988 film. From what I hear, you couldn't hit water if you fell out of an effing boat. Number eight, spoken by the character Mrs. Brickerman in a 1999 creature feature. If I had a dick, this is where I'd tell you to suck it. Number nine. I, I'm detecting a theme here. <laughs> 1987 fantasy adventure comedy film. I'll explain and I'll use small words so you'll be sure to understand, you wart faced baboon. Wart hog baboon. baboon. And finally, number 10, probably the hardest one in the round. 1942 comedy film. I got that. Did you get that, mm -hmm. you guys? My great aunt Jennifer ate a whole box of candy every day of her life. She lived to be 102, and when she'd been dead, when she'd been dead three days, she looked better than you do now. All right. And is that the hard one? That's the, I I assume that's the one that will be hardest for people. I could be wrong. Not everybody's getting the joke, Susan. Nobody else got that joke, <laughs> especially Carl. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. So obviously, well, well so I can answer. I can answer the last one. one. I, don't I can know. answer one, and that's that's I think number is at number nine. Oh, good! Somebody's keeping track. Uh, um, uh, that's that's uh, that's the uh, um, what do you call it? The the Princess Bride, but but. Is uh, Nine is. Oh, yeah. You know what? That does sound familiar. All right. Hey, we're not going to get shut out. Yeah. <laughs> we know one. Thank you, Alan. Well, and obviously, uh, Susan, you know number 10, right? No. I like it. That's a great line. Oh, you, sounded so, you sounded so convincing even oh, before she bought 42 comedy film. No, no, because he said he, he was giving these are all dick jokes. A lot oh. of dick jokes that he said, this is the hard one. And that's the joke. You guys oh, know, sure. you know, I have to explain to you, you don't get it. <laughs> 1942 so, comedy. Uh, oh, it could be, um, no, 42? Some like it hot? No, that was, that was that later. That's much later than that. Mm, 42 comedy. May West and uh, would that uh, Jennifer ate a whole box of candy every year? Could that be like a a, a Marx Brothers uh, movie or something? Oh, 42. Uh, could be, that, but... I don't know if theirs were all actually before earlier than that. That no, no, I don't think so. They were in the 40s and 50s, weren't they? Yeah. Because the movies haven't been around that long. Um, yeah, I bet you Duck Soup. That's something Karl Marx, uh, Karl Marx, 
Marx. Yeah, well, he, Karl Marx he was, was, the, he was, fun. He was, the he was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah, you know, good old Karl Marx. Yes, um, that's where that's where Avi's going to school and, and his former Karl Marx dad. Yes. Oh, where is, he oh, is he coming to San Francisco? Uh, no, uh, no, uh, um, no, uh, no. So you don't know where he's going next. Going next. He's Should applying to he's, he's applying to universities. We'll find out. He might if be he in New Jersey. In. What? He might be in Jersey. He's been asking about Stockton University, which is in Jersey. Not Jersey. He just apply. He just applied to uh, Elmhurst College in uh, here. Well, now Elmhurst University in Chicago. So we'll see. I said, we're killing, I said we're killing time because nobody has any answers. Oh, oh let's, yeah, let's answers. Let's start making up answers. Well, with number, number seven, could that possibly be the uh, water? Oh, world? it's one of the baseball. It's one of the baseball films. Oh, is um, it eighty-eight? It couldn't be. Um, we'll do uh, it. What's well, what's the be, what's the one with the uh, say what's Sarandon's Susan Sarandon's so husband Bull, Bull Durham. Bull Durham, I didn't see, but yeah, okay. I, I think I'll that's that's that. I think probably what it is because he's playing the catcher in that movie and he's talking to the pitcher. That could be, yeah, yeah, because that was um, Matthew uh, Robbins. Tim Robbins was the pitcher. Yeah, yeah, and that, I think that's what it is. Okay, okay yeah, that would make so sense. Just going on the years, a comedy. We can film. go by years. Yeah. yeah. Not that Could I know. Nine have been that. Uh, what was the 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 cartoon like movie? Cartoon like movie. The you one that was the they had all the animated cartoon. Oh, I guess it was the with the. Hang on, you think thinking of Roger? Were you thinking Roger, Roger Rabbit? Rabbit? No, Roger, that would have been later, huh? Who framed Roger Rabbit? Yeah. yeah. Who's that in was the nineties. Actually, it might have been the eighties. Now I think about it. Uh, but there was no there in that movie. It was a it was still a PG movie, like uh, uh, not PG, uh, family. But I don't think there was any language like that in that movie. No. How about the eighty-seven? Could it be airplane? No. Mm -hmm. That was Could really any of these be airplane or one of the airplane movies? For which one? Any of them. I have a feeling that question four that they're talking about Richard and not not Dick. I have a feeling that it's like something to do with a joke where they were like Richard isn't here or something like that, and that was the punchline. Hey, so Sarah. Sarah. Yeah, Sarah, come help, Sarah. <laughs> Does she ever actually go to? Uh, I don't to, know. To no, I, I doubt it. But let's see anyway. Okay, come here. See if you're, you're any help here. And say hello to your uncle. Read, read these. Hi, Sarah. You have to name the movies. When? Make her read them. Oh. No. Oh, wow. <laughs> Are these quotes insult. from movies? From a movie. So we got to figure out what. They're movies. insults so, from movies. So I knew. I knew that one. And we figured out that one. Um, but um, I think that some of these are a little before your time. So. Yeah, but they're, but you know, these are comedy movies. People would rehear them. We knew oh, 42, and that was before my time. Well, we haven't gotten 42 yet. No, 10. We think it's Duck it Soup. Oh, that's right. We did say that. Okay. That's the only one we had for a while. A little louder, Sarah. I can't hear you. Oh, is she reading him out loud? I want to hear her read him. <laughs> You're our only hope. You need to know some of these. Somebody start making up movie names. And we just Airplane to... three, airplane four, speed. <laughs> I, um... I have no idea. Okay, goodbye. Why does my head look so much bigger than yours? 
because you're closer, you're to, the closer to the camera. You have I wish hair. I didn't cut my hair while you're. Uh, no, I'm doing a microphone. Do you have hair left, Al? What? You still have hair in there? Hi, Uncle Sheldon. Yes, uh, uh, Sarah. Sarah cut a little shorter than than we planned, <laughs> but that's okay. I there's airplane movies. They had all these kinds of jokes, but I don't know if they had this kind of word. They didn't use what this. What about you know, Animal they, House? Animal House. So when was Brain Animal when, House? Janine? Put Animal I've House. I've never seen it. I have never seen it. Can you believe that? I, I barely remember seeing it. I even it. showed it one time at the toolbox and I still have what, what movie? What movie? Animal House. Animal House. What about um But none of these really fit that just put it down. Take this quarter, go downtown. Wasn't that about eighty nine? Wasn't that about Animal House era? Um no, I because Bel Bel I think Belushi was dead by then. Mm. Four. I just thought of another one. Blazing Saddles, any of these? By the way, I think four actually, if we're gonna give it to Animal House, four seems to be the closest. Okay. Um now, number two, uh the the kind of line is is a um is a uh Rodney Dangerfield type line. Uh, Not in 1980. He must have been dead by then. Oh, no. He he died oh. like 10 years ago. No, really? Yeah. yeah. Huh. But what's in so what's what a movies? Rodney Dangerfield film from 19? Well, I think some of the golf movies, but I think they were after. Oh, Caddyshack? I never saw that. That's a famous that, that movie. It could be Caddyshack. Okay. Why don't you put it? Why don't you put it till it, uh, you put it Caddyshack until it isn't? Young Frankenstein. I don't recognize any of these for Young Frankenstein. No. Um, any of these are supposed to be easy, Carl? Oh, uh, uh, number three. Quite a few numbers, of them are supposed to be easy. Number three might be uh, might be Taxi. I was wondering about that, too. Yeah. Okay, 87. Yeah, taxi or taxi, taxi driver, answer? you mean? Taxi driver with a uh, what's his name? Uh, Robert De Niro. Robert De Niro. What Mark? Could you watch that from long The ago. Godfather or say that? <clears throat> These are just from from comedy no. films. I made such a delicious meal tonight. What is it? It's quinoa, quinoa and vegetable salad with Mexican cheese. Hmm. Is that Sounds cheddar good. cheese? <laughs> what? Is it cheddar? No, Mexican cheese. Mexican cheese. Oh, okay. Well, that doesn't, it's not funny to say Mexican man, though. No. <laughs> you say cheddar man. Cheddar man or mozzarella man. Yeah, that's good. I don't know. I can't say Mexican man. No, the category we had before this was called cheddar man. It was about the man, uh, British uh, uh, skeleton man they found named cheddar man. Oh. I don't. I, do we have something for everything? Oh, no. we, we're, we're missing no, most no. of them. No, we're nowhere okay, near. Nineteen eighty-five. No, we're nowhere near. Films, Come on. Where the line is: take this quarter, go downtown, and have a rot a rat gnaw that thing off your face. Something. Animal House again. He says, Pacino. "Give it a try." Something with Pacino. He says, "Eighty-nine." Pacino. Films. What's that? Pacino is a Al Pacino, yeah. Al Pacino. Well, we already have him in for taxi driver, but but it was okay. Al Pacino in a, in no, a Pacino's comedy. not a taxi driver. That was Duval. Or not Duval. Uh, not Pacino, not Duval. It doesn't matter. De Niro. That was De Niro. Oh, De Niro, De Niro, you're right, 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 right. 89. So it's ever done a comedy. Let's see. Um, what else are we missing? Uh, we're missing one, five, six, and eight. And eight. I'm trying to think of a we're 1999 creature feature. 1994 comedy film. Hey, try not to suck any dick on the way through the parking lot. Do I really look like I care? <laughs> 
Oh, I don't know. Ask, well, we don't know. Ask about eight. Right. Eight? We should be happy you don't know all these things. <laughs> Do you know somebody named Mrs. Dick Bickerman? She was a character in a 1999 creature feature. No, he has no idea. And I don't care. No idea. Mrs. Bickerman? That's her name. She's a character in a 1999 creature feature. Um, are one of uh, are one of the Terminator movies considered uh, a creature feature? <laughs> I, I wouldn't. I can't speak for Carl. I, 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 Look at my I, face. What's yeah, a okay. creature feature? Isn't that a show, Creature Features? A creature feature is typically some sort of horror film involving some kind of monster. Like yeah. a Godzilla. Okay. Or a creature for the lost... Uh, the I mean, Black it could Lagoon be something, something as small as a piranha or as big as a Godzilla. Yeah. Hmm. No idea. Uh, so obviously this is a talking creature that has no dick. No. Uh, <laughs> this was Mrs. Bickerman. Was what's, what's, the, uh, uh, <laughs> what's, what's the movie with... Um, What's his name and what's his name? Um, <laughs> I, I believe you're, I, I I believe you're say looking again. for what's it uh, called? Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's called what's, no, called, what's, yeah. it, what's his name in the, uh, um, damn it, uh, like not Rhinestone Cowboy. Um, um, ah, come on. Uh, to be a little less specific. Uh, what, what, what's his name in, 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 uh, uh, the guy who's in the movie. The guy who was in the movie? With the cat that had the no director. no no, uh, the uh, um, Mrs. Robinson and uh, what the, what he uh, oh, Dustin graduate? Hoffman, da, uh, Dustin Hoffman and the and um, graduate. No, not, not, the, it's not the movie I'm thinking of. And uh, he played he played sort of an imbecile uh, uh, or um, oh, Rain, Rain Man, Rain Man, or or are you talking about the other? But one? is that considered a comedy though? No, I no. wouldn't think so. Not even no. a creature feature. Hmm. Or what was that other one that they played? The guy who who was supposed to be really, he was really not there, and then they had he he kept saying all these really oh, things. When when was nineteen ninety four? That may have been too too long ago. What oh, um uh what's it's um uh, another baseball mm -hmm. movie with uh with um oh, major it? league, yeah uh, with Char what's his name Charlie Charlie Sheen, Charlie Sheen. and. No, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if that goes back that far, but we could do Major League. I'll buy that one. <laughs> for which number? Uh, I'll play that for five. Are you going to end this, Carl? Because we are we're done. Uh, yeah. I I guess I need to pull the. Two thousand eight. Uh, Shouldn't we be able to get a two thousand eight movie? The mercy, the mercy kill. Yeah. Let's put Animal House in for everything we don't have. I agree. But the 2008 comedy film, we should be able to figure out. That wasn't that long ago. 2008 comedy. I can't remember what happened this morning. <laughs> 2008 and Wes Grossman. Somebody I mean, that, was a... pretty, that was pretty recent. It's like only about 15 years ago or so. Yeah, yeah you should be able to remember that. Les Grossman. It sounds like a, it sounds like a, is that another one of these uh, baseball movies? Um, uh, the Money, not Moneyball or something like that. No, Moneyball was later than this, I think. Ice Pirates. <laughs> hey, why I not? I think my husband liked that. I'm surprised you even heard of that movie, Janine. <laughs> my husband liked it. He kept watching it. I don't think it's 2008. I thought it was much earlier. I like, think. I think. I think so too. But it just be a Julia, one of the Julia. When was the, the one with Julia Roberts? She played the um, Brockovich or whatever with Aaron Brockovich. Aaron Brockovich. So. I, I mean, it just sounds like I would call it. She would say, but I wouldn't say it's a comedy. No, that's right. 30 more seconds and your misery will end. <laughs> I don't know where we're going to kill your streak here, Carl. Yeah, yeah. 
and it's your fault. I'm I'm psychic. I don't see a ton of points in your future. <laughs> <laughs> Nor do I. <laughs> I'm throwing, I'm throwing Predator in there. Five sort of sounds a, good. All right, see you guys. Five seconds. I'm really hoping Kyle has the videos for these. I really hope that Carl doesn't have part three. <laughs> Is that what? <laughs> no, I'm sure Carl. Carl's got to have video. Come on. Hi, Adrian. You will not be disappointed. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Kyle. And Some of these and I'll remember as soon as I see them. I, All right. only, I only remembered one, truly Kevin. one. Can you turn down here. your mic, Kevin? Can yeah, you turn down your mic? The mic is really high. Point. He's that way. Yeah, you're, about, you're about 30% louder than He's that. Yeah, every, or use your indoor every voice. Every week. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is Kevin's indoor voice, though. Uh huh. That's a little scary. <laughs> Is that any better? That's yes. better. That's better. better. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Just a different setting. Yeah. Here Thanks we go. Kevin. <laughs> oh, 2023 CE. Yes. The common like era. Common thank, era. thank you for specifying. Yeah, because we might have not have figured it out. You know, this video might be watched in, you know. Oh, you need to stop recording. Oh. Sorry, everybody. You should have been here. And I will paste in and read out the answers. So the answers are Uncle Buck. So the answers are for number one, Uncle Buck. Number two, Caddyshack. Number three, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Number four, Ghostbusters. Number five, Clerks. Number six, Tropic Thunder. Number seven, Bull Durham. Eight, Lake Placid. Nine, The Princess Bride. And ten, The Man Who Came to Dinner. Can't believe I didn't get Princess Bride. That was <gasps> Same here. For that shame. One, I'm so disappointed in myself for that one because I've seen that movie like 50 times. I, I, I've oh, even seen it. Ago, uh, I have only seen times. it. I thought of it first and I've only seen it once because it was mentioned here. So that's why. I thought what? It. What a great movie. Yep. I saw it at the that Forest Theater. And did you love it? Robin, Robin's Forest Theater. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I we sure we did. did films, films in the forest. Yeah. So what's going on with the with the score over here? Why is it like giving me a weird looking number over here? What so, I... Rob, did you love The Princess Bride? Did you? Formatting. I wouldn't say that. It was amazing. <laughs> it was incredible. <laughs> All right. So I gave you. I gave you Adrian and I gave you Lee, right? Lee, are you in five? Yes. All right. You can have my chocolate when you pry it for my cold, dead hands. We got a six. Nice. Wow. Whoa. Okay. Thank you for fixing the format. The Then let's go over here to Iceland and Trump. Both spew toxic hot gas. Great. Oh, my. Wasp <clears throat> 107B. What do you got? Believe it or not, we had nine. Oh, what? Yeah. Uh, we have some other. We have some really smart people in our group that knew wait, stuff, wait. and I, smart I only need one. The, and those movies weren't necessarily What's the one you didn't get. Uh, we, we didn't, didn't get Princess Bride. Bride. Princess, we Bride. Get Princess Bride. We, wow. we did get wow. the man who came to dinner. Congratulations on the man who came to dinner. Thank that you. Was it wasn't, Bill. wasn't Bill me. knew that one. That was Bill. Bill knew a lot of them actually. Mike and Mike wow. knew some. And Karen if you watch a lot some. of Turner Classic movies, you'd know that one. Justin, Jeannie Three. Scott, name, winner of this week's trivia. Three. Three. Three? The volunteerium is on your right. Five. We tried putting Animal House on just about everything. Damn it. What <laughs> was in Animal House? We're tied for third. All Yay. right, so let's do a photo. Photo, 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 photo. photo. Lee photo. and Adrian got here in time. Okay. Whoops, I dress dropped it. Where'd it go? One, two, three. Smile, Wait. Katniss. Katniss. Oh, I have a full screen. All right. Did you get me sneezing? Oh, wait, wait. We can't go anywhere till we do the birthdays. <clears throat> Leonard. How many? Leonard. And Kevin. And Kevin? When's right, Kevin? Kevin? No. No. When's no. your birthday, Kevin? No, I was born a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but what's the anniversary of it? I don't remember. Uh -huh. I'm too old. It must be today. Uh -huh. 
No, it's, it's not Kevin's today. Birthday? No, no. Same as Leonard. Oh, same birthday. I remember that from a previous today. year. I don't know, days ago. Ago. Oh, good Except day. about eight or ten years between us. What are the odds? Isabella's birthday today too. I haven't seen her in ages. Oh. All right, so yeah. we have Kevin and we have Leonard, right? Okay, mm-hmm. you know the rules. Any Leonard's <laughs> loving this too much. All <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy 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 birthday to
All fine. All good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I got better. Uh, it's been a while now. Good. Yeah, I haven't uh, seen you, guys you for a while. Yeah, I haven't. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been here. Yeah. yeah. So I just Travel thought. Oh, where have, where have you been? Yeah, it's around the country, different places, uh, visiting, uh, working somewhat, and uh, having fun. So, uh, cool. usually I combine a double dip. So they're going to pay me to fly somewhere. I'll stick around for a couple weeks. Oh, yeah. For sure. I don't know. It doesn't sound fair. Having fun and not being here to tell us about it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing major, just, tra just traveling and in the different odd parts of the country. Yeah. There's a lot of odd parts. Oh, yes, there are. My niece just moved to Madrid and has a two-bedroom apartment. So Nice. And I've never been to Madrid, so I think mm -hmm. I need to go there. Oh, it's nice. Madrid is nice. Beautiful there. Yeah. The Prada was a great museum to attend to. Yes, I've never been. Yeah. Prada is also a very good museum. I went Food is excellent. and Guernica is an amazing painting to see in person. Yeah. Picasso and the Dalis. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you should definitely go there. When we went to the Prado, there was uh -huh. a, a guard. There was a guard. There was a, an area which was had an um, exhibition for Picasso. And the guard that was standing there the poor guy had all these um, birth defects and his face was all mangled and all, but he looked exactly like Picasso's picture. Really? <laughs> yeah, so we took a picture. And so we thought, what an appropriate guard to have on, you know, have on hand at the Picasso yeah. exhibition <laughs> is a guy who wow. looked like the paintings. <laughs> Interesting. You wonder where Picasso got his ideas. <laughs> oh, my God, you can believe it. Madrid is nice, but we, it was the only time we've traveled and we got robbed. We were on oh, the, really? On the, um, we were on the, and we, we expected it. We were on the subway and we expected to get robbed. And so we were um, sitting on the platform in the subway taking video just for fun. We got on the train. All of a sudden, some guy behind me, two guys, one guy went in front of me, bent down and pushed me. Another guy behind put his hands in my pockets to steal my money. Wow. And I knew it was going to happen. It's very common in, in Madrid. Mm -hmm. But I had change intentionally in my pocket and it went flying everywhere. But before the, the doors closed, they escaped. They ran away. No big deal. But um, when we got home, we looked at the videos and not knowing it, but I had them on video doing this to all these people. Wow. But they got caught. <laughs> because oh, um, the, next, the next day in um, the entrance to the subway, they caught the two guys and had piles of passports and the police oh. confiscated and had a pile of wow. wallets, passports. Oh, wow. Was the only... Other than that, Madrid is a beautiful city. It's really nice. Okay, here we go. Adrian and Karen now have access to the spreadsheet. Oh, my God. Social Trivia by Susan. And Adrian, I've made uh, Karen promise that you are not to look at the tab called Future Trivia because that's where I keep my my to be someday made into category you, you could you could copy that to a separate file no, you know, i want it all in one place and i can trust you guys not to be looking at it all right trust so anybody have announcements i i'm i'm out of here we're going to be doing trivia on thursday adrian and karen are in charge of that adrian Ooh, karen you're going to be my in yeah, charge buddy between the two of you guys i am going to um make sure adrian before i leave that you have the ability to get into zoom my zoom account yep and if all else fails uh ben and rob both have ability to get into the zoom account and it's possible well, I, I don't know if i will be here i probably know but maybe they could be somewhere long enough to turn it on or karen can run down the street <laughs> come over to my computer turn it on and uh and boot it up from here i'll try no. beforehand to make sure it's okay yeah let's make sure because there's yeah. a problem with do it we'll do it right before we go so yeah. that there isn't a problem i should be right ben and well and, and, and you'll okay. need a code yeah like you'll have to too. do it at the same time i'm on and and then uh, susan will have to give you a code 
Yeah, so we can do it. Because you're signing in from a new location. Another right. country. Anything else that I need to know? Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I wanted to read something. I got, I submitted my first timers article, which I've been doing this every year since I started going to the conferences and was writing for the magazine. And I got a really nice email from Barry Carr. Oh, and oh. It's, really, it's really regarding like he all, the work he, you, huh? all the work he puts into it. Yeah, I always enjoy it. And, and normally these articles go into a black hole. And then as Susan knows, somebody tells you it's online. You don't hear anything back. No one. Mm -hmm. So this was odd to get this. Uh, and this is before it's been published. But he, mm -hmm. I sent it to him and he read it. So he said, uh, Rob, I always enjoy these articles. They kind of give me a feeling of a sense of accomplishment. These things are hard to pull together, meaning the conference, a million decisions, a million actions. And this seems like it makes it worthwhile. Oh, that's How awesome. Sweet. Another really good thing about the that happened to Rob today is we have a new editor who read one of Rob's, he read a Reddit, he was on Reddit. I sent it to you, Rob. I have to look at it myself. He was reading a thread on Reddit from... I don't go on Reddit. What do you mean? Well, somebody put it on Reddit and then there was somebody put a link to your article in the Reddit column. Wow. There. So he followed the threads and went down until, and it's called How English Wikipedia Drove Out Fringe Editors Over Two Decades. And somehow or other that got, it got a link to your article. And then from that article, he decided he was going to join us. So he's just finished pre-training. Cool. He just made nice. got into the cabal. So everybody, please say hello to him. Deborah, get your cat Hi. butt out of the picture. <laughs> <laughs> cat butt. What is wrong with these cats these days? James has got about a million freaking flyer miles, so he's going to fly us all to Iceland. <laughs> of course. Telling us. And uh, we have to come up with how we're yeah. going to pay But there, isn't there a volcano blowing up there again? Well, we won't go until yeah. the That's time. why the It'll flights are really cheap. Really warm. Flights are really, really cheap. cheap. <laughs> well, and last time it happened, nobody could fly anywhere for about a week. Oh, that's so true. you'd be yeah. stuck in Iceland well, that was, if you went That there. was 10 years ago. <laughs> Yeah, well, no, no, and they're saying this one's not going to cause a disruption. It's not spewing into the atmosphere. No. It's, it's just dribbling lava. lava. Was I, that I one heard... of the trivia categories? Was it, <laughs> wasn't that Jamie's question last <laughs> a few weeks ago? <laughs> yeah, places he's been to and then disaster happened. That's disaster. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got two I've got two articles out. Thankfully, somebody here read it and that was on a team that made the category. This is the Eugenie Scott news breaking news from Psycon, but it was funny as heck. And I, I sent this to Barry so good. totally expecting that I was gonna get this. What you've got to be kidding, Susan. No freaking way am I publishing this. And the next thing I know, it was out. I was like, nobody even questioned it. I was like, okay. And then Jeannie didn't really know. So there was a, it was a running joke at PsyCon that I came up out of the out of the blue, out of my head, this idea of changing her Wikipedia. Well, that's because page. you run PsyCon. <laughs> oh, that's Apparently. right. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, uh -huh. sure. Yeah. So um, so it's a running joke, and the people who think they were in on it don't realize that they weren't in on it until i revealed it in this article and then the second one is a skeptical inquire article that um, i wrote about thomas john that i'm i'm shocked that i had just sitting around uh for a year before i forgot to publish it lots more lots more videos on my skeptics ex, psychic Psychics. explained psychic psychic sex explained um channel and uh, we might have the end of George Santos. I'm surprised nobody came up with the name of that. Mm. Lord, the lookalike of Thomas Thomas John and George Santos never are seen in the same place. In the same nobody time. wanted to yeah. jinx it. If he's if he's getting moved out, nobody wanted to jinx that. Oh, well, I want to say I, I haven't heard the news. What again. what's the story? George Santos is the ethics uh, committee. He's been in the referred house. to criminal. He's yeah, been they said he's to uh, the Justice Department. And oh, he's already been partisan. Leonard, yeah, the, the news is that Leonard he said he's not running for re-election. Yeah, he's oh, not running. Okay. Yeah, even and though last week he said he absolutely was. He used their credit card stuff for his Botox. What <laughs> is that true? Or he got robbed. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah he yeah. just Trump didn't do that. No, no, I don't. I have Santos. no idea about Trump. Probably so. Oh, that's creepy. Okay, I think so they gave him homeopathic Botox. 
Seriously, she, <laughs> both he and the person that owned the credit card got robbed. Oh, just okay, so, so that Jamie's turn. Know, know that Kevin is still going to be part of the group. He's having surgery <clears throat> today, which is why he's not here. But oh, he'll be oh no! Group? I hope it's fun surgery. It's not fun surgery, but it's oh. it's important surgery. Okay, well, it's not like emergency surgery. It's like no, oh, it's not. No, it was surgery. planned. Okay, cool, Jamie. Okay. The man of the future. I will be yeah. the woman of the future for two and a half. Oh, you weeks. will be. Yeah. You're be ahead of right. Jamie. I'm going away. I'll be the same <laughs> time. So I'll be closer to Jamie than I will anybody else here in this room. That's true. Oh my God. We we just got we hit by a storm. We should have lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Come over to okay. New Zealand or Australia. Okay. Our um the category is Thailand part two. It's been a while since I did a category on this. So Susan, can you help uh, mute everybody? Oh, I muted myself. Huh. <laughs> Is that spelled right? Okay. Unmute yourself, Jamie. Okay. Okay, number one. <clears throat> the current 2023 minimum wage in California is $15.50 per hour. In Massachusetts, it's $15 per hour. What is the current minimum wage per hour in Thailand in Ooh. US dollars within plus or minus 25 cents? Oh my gosh. 25 cents US. Yeah. Yes, US. Yep, US. Number two. There are 13,838 7-Eleven stores throughout Thailand. A very popular ice cream bar sold at 7-Eleven consists of coconut ice cream mixed with what other ingredient? Okay. Number three. Three. Most Thais have two names, their original formal Thai name, along with a simple nickname. Nicknames such as B, Tom, Goy, and Don are very popular. Why do Thais have two names? Eight, number four. A few years ago, we had some Americans visit us in Chiang Mai. The husband and wife were psychics and mentalists and often engaged in palm and tea leaf readings back at their home in Boston. We took them to a large, beautiful Buddhist temple, which on that particular day was packed with hundreds of Thais who were engaged all together in an emotional mass ritual. The crowds were throwing flowers at the feet of Buddha statues while tossing numbered sticks onto the ground before themselves as they're all kneeling, praying, chanting, and genuflecting. Our visitors were overwhelmed as they felt a holy presence and were overcome with spiritual energies. They floated among the worshipers as they believed they were performing a number-oriented spiritual rite, perhaps similar to the numerology beliefs of Jewish mystics. They said they never experienced such an impassioned divine love, devotion, harmony, and peace. And the trivia question is, what was the true meaning of the ceremony we observed. Hmm. Okay, number five. The number 555 in Thailand is very funny. Why? Of education, we're certainly number six. <laughs> okay, this Thai city has the longest name in the world. Kurung Tep Mahane Konaman Radakosen Mahantara 
Hayataya Mahondo Pap Narawat, Rachintana Burram, Udanachitawet, Mahatsanatan, Aman, Piman, Awatan, Sadat, Sakataya, Wisakayam Prasit. What is its more common name? What? I want to hear I Susan said... read I want to hear Susan read that question over. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just read gibberish. Good That's future team name. That's our team yeah. name next week. <laughs> oh God, you guys. Yeah. Thailand is literally years ahead of most countries. The official Thai calendar used is the Buddhist calendar. 2023 on the Western calendar is what year here in Thailand? No plus or minus? No, no plus or minus. Nope. A common English term, blank, blank, refers to a burdensome and useless expensive possession that is much more trouble than it's worth. For example, expensive sports stadiums built for Olympic events often become a blank, blank afterwards since they may not be used frequently anymore and are way too costly to maintain. This term originated in Thailand, where if a person is in possession of this sacred gift, that he would suffer great hardship and burden and ruin them financially. Number nine, unlike Western countries, nobody ever wears blank inside any homes and many small offices and shops. And number 10, Dozens of internationally acclaimed Hollywood movies had scenes filmed here in Thailand. This includes Around the World in 80 Days, The Deer Hunter, Good Morning Vietnam, The Killing Fields, Rambo, Air America, The Beach, Bridget Jones, Star Wars 3, Blackbeard, The Hangover, among many others. Two James Bond 007 movies had scenes which were filmed here in Thailand. One was Man with a Golden Gun in 1974, starring Roger Moore. What was the second 007 movie which featured Pierce Brosnan as James Bond? Hmm. Okay. Hey. Okay, Susan, can you help open up the rooms? Mm. There they are. Okay, and Vincent's hey, here. Hi, Vincent. We're expecting you next Thursday for sure, Vincent, because that's Turkey Day. And you are about to go into room. No, I Wait. won't be here next Thursday. What? That's my surgery. Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. So I'll be, I will not be, I will not be uh, here for like a month. Ooh. So, oh. yeah, that's my surgery, so... Okay, I guess I guess you can go. I just put you into Iceland and Trump both spew toxic hot gas, which is actually the room I'm about oh, to go okay. into. Usually I uh, spew hot gas. <laughs> All right, number nine. Yeah, definitely shoes. Okay. Okay. And what about eight? I said I I guessed white elephant for eight. Yeah, that sounds good. I, I, I was thinking ghost town, but yours fits better. Do you have anything on the upper upper ones there? Yeah, we're oh, done. The only two I knew, which is why we're I started done. there. Susan. I bet their minimum wage is like two dollars or something. I don't know. I know it's, it's gonna really be expensive. it's gonna be very low. Because yeah. Jamie is always telling me how inexpensive things are there compared to what they are here. Yeah. Do you want to say two dollars? Ice cream. Coconut ice cream mixed with I think what? it's shrimp. Oh no, that's disgusting. Oh, yeah, it's going to be disgusting. So you want to say two dollars for one? Yeah, yeah two dollars. I like two dollars. Something like that. Yeah. It's going to be something disgusting. Would it be shrimp? Or you know that? Or Co you just no? I, I coconut shrimp is a very popular um, 
dish in Thai, but I'm not sure if they make ice cream out of it. Well, if they make it out, ooh, possible. I would say it's some kind of like mint or something, um, a spice. That's not curry. Disgusting. Curry. Curry. Yeah, curry is possible. It's going to be something disgusting. That's definitely not our taste. I'm not going to Thailand because I won't eat the food. <laughs> I know it's. I love Thai food, food, but I've never seen this one. Oh, coconut shrimp is a good idea, but it's more. Um, um, In order to make it into I an ice cream been, bar, yeah. you'd have to puree the shrimp. And Thai curry is popular. Should we say curry? I would say curry. Sure. There are several Thai curries, so it may have to be more specific, but it's going to be something like that, I'm sure. Hmm. And I don't know why Thai people have two names, but in India, they often have a family name and then a public name. Well, I know sometimes they have a, a name so they can be Americanized. It's easier to say, hi, my name is Brian, than it is to say, you know, bok choy or something. Bok choy? <laughs> you know bok what I mean? Choy. What would be I... an example of one of these names he's talking about? Tom. Oh, he's got it. B, Tom, Goy, and Don are popular. But it's like, it says that... Maybe they just uh, have two name names to put on their passport name. to travel abroad. I've heard that um, Indonesians only have one name, and I've got uh, somebody who's a customer in, at the self-help center who's i think is Indo he's indonesian i think his real indonesian name is just hatar h-a-t-t-a-r but he calls himself hatar hatar just because i think you got to have two names in america yeah it's an american right. thing for yeah. that's what they, in india they, there are places where they they use an initial of their father's name and their given name they don't have a family name did, and my ex had to write out his father's name because they wouldn't just take the letter R as his first There, there was a, a video on YouTube where they would go up to um, Oriental people. I think they were mostly Koreans, though. And they would say, what is your Korean name? And he'd say his name. And he said, what is your American name? And he'd go, Ben. So mm -hmm. they had names that were short so that they could get jobs and, and have friends in college. And it was always an American name, a short men you know, what you're then, saying is making sense, but this is people in Thailand. So it's, it's be because they speak English there. So they want English friends to call them by the English name. Oh, okay, okay, so I'm not. Okay, now I think I understand this. I thought it was two names like Joe Bob. Like, no, it's a different now I name. Understand. Like, why do you have a name that's Americanized and you have another name that's Thai? Because they that's speak why. English there. So instead of saying Susan, they would call you Sue or S. Yeah, okay. So it's just because they Americanize them because there's so many people speak uh, English. English. Is that our answer? That's what well, I that's, think it that's, is. That That's one. And like I said, what I know is not Thai, it's Indian. But in India, you know, there's a name that the family has and close people have and other people don't know. Right. But what's the answer to this question? So we're going to say what, what Kevin said? I think that it's because a lot of people do speak English and, and it's it is easier to say the name. Okay, now number four. What the heck is that about? And it's not mental. It must be psychics and... and um... Knowing Jamie, my thought was he wrote this whole great big thing about how special it was and, and everything. It's going to be something like for sexual pleasure or something it's going to be yeah, yeah. something really mundane it's right? going to be so they have babies so they can get pregnant or something yeah oh. i like that answer or yeah. maybe it's just like buddha's birthday or something <laughs> but that uh, isn't that isn't as strange as you know the idea yeah. that they were floating and this was all this big spiritual thing yeah. it's going to be something not spiritual right so the women would be more fertile it'd be a time to fertilize make fertility more fertile. yeah. it was tossing numbered the sticks on it the ground was the ice cream in, at 7-eleven <laughs> that sounds more like some gambling thing maybe it's a uh, like a um, gamblers anonymous meeting We're throwing <laughs> down know. our numbered sticks <laughs> i don't know that gambling is even legal there so oh, it was a ceremony about it 
So what is the number 555? Why is that funny? Well, it's this. it has to have something to do with the numbered sticks. 555? Five, five, five? No, question five. He put question five in, in five. Yeah. Well, one Why of the reasons funny? four is, is bad luck in, in China is because the word for four sounds like the word for death. So 555 five, five might have some meaning in Thailand that is different. Maybe it just sounds like a joke. square. Oh, there's Brandy. Did I hear Brandy? There's Brandy. Yeah. Hi, Brandy. Brandy, Hi. people thought we're uh people thought you were Rebecca Watson, I think. Yeah. <laughs> you about that? Yes. She kind of yep. looks like Rebecca Watson. People were saying yep, Rebecca Watson was a icon. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I bet you they think it was Brandy. And then Dunning <laughs> said he knows somebody else who was there that looks more like Rebecca Watson than you. Yes, but Rebecca Watson has a black heart and Brandy is Oh, no, no. But if somebody just glanced at Brandy, they might think it's been a long time since anybody's seen Rebecca Watson. I don't know. Or she might have been there. I don't know. Well, someone did come up to me and told me they thought that I was Rebecca Watson for a second. (gasps) (laughs) Oh, my gosh, you poor thing. (laughs) <laughs> so six 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 is the number of the beast would five oh, five, do we know, five know what five is? clown how is that we're supposed to be doing this or maybe it sounds like a swear word uh, yeah i suspect that you've got the right idea that they the you were the name five 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 has some other meaning in Thai. yeah right? it probably is like a swear word swear word i guess what else could it be um, and then, so number six, it's probably you know what it probably the, means. Huh? It's like um, when you put a smiley face at the end of a um, a sentence, a text thing. What three five five five? Yeah, it probably like means like a laugh or a smiley face or something like that sideways. Oh, oh that sounds you know like LOL. I mean? Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense why it's, well, I, I'm fine. I like the thing. swear word, though. That's probably a better answer. Okay, question six. The longest name in the world is probably either Prasset or Krog, whatever the first or the last word is on that. Don't you think? That's what I was thinking. Very common, important Thai city. Or maybe it's Bangkok. Yeah, you know. I like that idea. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. Um, I remember on question seven, he told us something about this. Well, whatever it is, the Jewish calendar is it's like 54. So it's got to be bigger than that, right? Maybe it's 12,023. 12,023? Yeah. Because it... You know, it's the age of the earth or whatever, instead of going BC and whatever it is now. Well, 1223 would be a small number, though. No, a zero there. One, two, zero, two, three. Oh, one, two, 12,023. Okay, so we've got nine, eight, and we've got nine. White elephant and shoes. So 10... What was... I don't think I, I don't think it can be zero one two zero two three. In other words, their Buddhist calendar is exactly ten thousand years ahead of ours. That's no. ridiculous. Yeah, it probably isn't, but give us another number. <laughs> six six thousand six hundred and sixty six. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that mean anything for them? That... Wait, six thousand. Okay. I don't know. Do we have a plus or minus on that one? No, no, no he should have. No. That's why it's got to be something that has. And he a, should have done plus or minus a dollar for the for, for the. No one's going to get it within a quarter. Well, maybe that. we yeah. will. Um, about the range. about the uh, calendar, it must mean something. Thailand, it must be something easy because otherwise, otherwise, it's got to be something like forty two or twenty twenty three or something. Because how else would we guess it? it must but be something be makes sense. The- if it, they're year, literally years ahead of most countries. 
got to be a big number. So it could be 2024. It's one year. Years? Add, I no, I don't know. Plural. It's got to be something that makes sense in the, in the context of the way he wrote it. Yep. What's the Buddhist calendar? How old is the Buddhist? I mean, the Buddhist calendar can't be 10,000 years old. I don't think any human calendars are. The, they were talking about the Mayan calendar being 12,000 years old, but I don't think any Buddhist calendar would go back that far. 4,000 years, maybe. Oh, the Jewish calendar is what, at 54 now? Something. 6,400 and something. So how about we say, well, I think it's just going to be something simple, so... I agree with you. It should be something simple or he would have given us a Yeah, or he would have given us a plus or minus or worded the question differently. And he says years ahead of most countries. So I'm kind of thinking that that you know one or two years more than what we are might be the answer. So yeah. add add a, a random number. Between one and nine, or one and three, or something, you know, like 20, 2023 would be like twenty five. Twenty twenty five, yeah, it doesn't matter. I can't believe he didn't give us a range. Well, I think that's a hint, actually, that he didn't give us a range. Ah, uh, what did I do here? Twenty five. That's good. Okay. How are you, I think, how are you guys I, doing? We're is there a range? Question. Is there a range for number seven? He said no. No. Um, is there is there a range for number one? Just 25 cents? Yeah, 20 plus or minus 25 cents. Wow. No one's gonna get that. It might unless, be 25 cents. <laughs> unless it's similar, go back to the first question. Let's see what it is. Let's put it right in between. Could it possibly be? Fifteen dollars and twenty-five cents in between. Oh, it's not going to be that big. In between California and Massachusetts. No, it's not going to be that big. Jamie is always telling me how cheap things are there. Yeah, he, he is, just talked about too. his Thanksgiving dinner for three dollars, okay. whatever it was. All right. Yeah. So leave it. Okay. So the, the last sure one, I... you guys, do we have the answer to the James Bond movie? We should start closing the room. Yeah, we don't. Okay. I don't know the James Bond movie. Does anybody? No. Okay, Susan, can you start the timer? Oh, good, thanks. Um, which is the second 007 movie which featured Pierce Bronson as James Bond? Was it Casino Royale? No, that's an early one. Well, it wasn't a remade. Yeah, it was. Was it? Who was the Bond? Was it Pierce? I thought it was another guy. Who? I don't think it was Pierce Bronson. I think it was the other guy. Okay, the guy who did only movie? one, one or two of them. So we've got 90 seconds. Kevin, we're counting on you. I can't think of the names of the movies. Okay, well then put Casino Royale because we don't know. It's not. Uh, hey, honey, think of a Pierce Brosnan uh, James Bond movie. And you've got one minute. Give me some. Give me some names. Do you think of any? I can't think of a name offhand. You got 30, 60 seconds. <laughs> Die another day. Die Another Day, is that right? That's a Pierce Bronson one. Okay, Die Another Day. Okay. At least we've got the right actor, right? Yeah. Or else Kevin's in serious trouble. I, I once saw Pierce Brosnan coming out of Bruno's Market in Carmel. Really? Yeah. Did he say hi? Uh, No, I don't like to bother celebrities if I see them. Oh, I thought problem. he was just, he's like, oh my God, it's Robert Wells. <laughs> I was sitting in my car. I've heard about you. <laughs> I know he doesn't he isn't around here, right? Like normally, it was during something like the AT and T. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't see celebrities very often, but we had a celebrity sure. almost play trivia one night, but he didn't want to play. Elvis? Oh yeah. Who? Oh, no, the guy from um, Matthew um, Matthew Broderick. Oh okay. really? Wow. And how would he know to come here? Your friend in the book club. Is his friend. 
Really? Yes. Is how embarrassed. Oh, so he wouldn't get any other celebrity treat from us, Kevin, because I'd be like, "All right, your turn." Who I meant you? it. Shut up already. <laughs> Susan would be like, "Here's a new. There's a new guy. His name is Matthew." Hey, everybody, say hi to Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Matthew? You were talking about some guy oh. named Matthew that Robin's friend knows or something that Kevin knows or something. Vincent's here. Hello, Vincent. Yeah. Hi, Vincent. Hi. Just, hi. Hey, Vincent. Do you, do you know? Do you know when a joke is a dad joke? When? Um, you, you, you should know. It's a parent. When? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting to tell you that one. <laughs> he has it written yes. down on his hand. I do. <laughs> All oh, right. so okay. Well, this is for Adrian. Uh, my uh surgery time, which I'm most likely it's going to be eight eight in the morning. I will find out uh after from two to five on Tuesday, so I have to call the hospital to mm, find out when good. I when I go in. <laughs> Well, that's too bad. Yeah. Vincent, what? what is your surgery for? Uh, I'm getting a kidney removed. Really? Oh, no. Yeah. Ooh, ah, it is serious. what it is. Mm. It's not that serious. Mm. I hope I hope it goes well and keep us, well, yeah, uh, good luck. you know, keep yeah. up, keep, keep us up Adrian, on you it. Have, you have Adrian, another working one, so that's Adrian's a Adrian's in charge of notifying medical. everybody how your surgery yeah. went. Adrian will well, Adrian will let everybody know. And so. Adrian and, and Karen are running the trivia that night, so she should be able to tell everybody. Yep. And, I, and I Kevin, can, I, Kevin, I, I never say you. good luck. If you need luck, don't uh, you find another doctor. <laughs> no, you know what I mean. I'm not going to say God bless. I'm going to say good luck because the doctors know what they're doing. Yeah. Uh, heal, Carl? heal quickly, Vincent. Oh, it's, it's oh I'm sure. about my brother-in-law had two kidneys removed. I'm sure. <laughs> oh. That's a little more serious. Yeah. He has. Yeah. No, wow. I'm sure he'll be fine. I okay. have a relative that had a kidney removed and she lived 50 years afterwards. <laughs> no problem. Oh, yeah. When she'd yeah. been dead for three days, she looks better than you. She drank. <laughs> you all right? Oh. You have a kidney. The body can get along with one third of one kidney. Yeah. 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 All right. Sure. So, next. Okay. Everyone's all set? Yeah. Okay. Everyone's ready for the answers? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Ready. Okay. Number one, the current 2023 minimum wage in Thailand is a dollar twenty-two per Ooh, hour. Wow. So it's ninety-seven cents to a dollar forty-seven. Wow. And most construction, all construction here is actually done by the Burmese. Not right, by Thai. We're too generous. Yeah. And Put the it Burmese in the chat. Kind of, yeah, I will. So um, two dollars is a Bernie uh, Sanders here. estimate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so the Burmese who do all construction work in Thailand, they get about a third of that. Mm. They're lucky. So it's a dollar twenty-two. Number two, um, a very very popular ingredient that's served with ice cream is corn, sweet corn. Wow! Wow! Really? So most yeah. most ice cream has corn here. It's it's delicious. Hmm. It's you have because, oh, well, I've had Thai ice cream in America, and it was uh, coconut and sticky rice. So that's why. I, yeah, that's kind of, that's popular that. also. Yeah, that's very popular. But corn is very popular here also. Number three, how come Thais have two names? And the reason why is because of evil spirits. Oh, oh. Thai... very <laughs> Carol. So Thai evil people believe spirit. that evil spirits can harm children. And that by using a child's true original name, and it draws attention to them by these spirits. So a nickname is therefore given to Thai children to offer them protection. Mm. That's... Mm. So these mm. are all-knowing but very stupid spirits. Yeah, very stupid spirits. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question, Jamie. So when yes. the Thai students come to the U.S., they all have some American-type, easy-to-pronounce name? Is that the same name as their child name, or did they choose a new name? No, it's the same name. It's the same so, name. But that doesn't yeah. count as an answer. That was my answer. Yeah, yeah. no. The uh, For example, like um, people here call like B or A or C. 
That's their name. Yeah. Well, that's, yeah, that's, that's okay. So that's the name so they use here. That was you, our graduate student's name was A. And yeah, I, had, a I always had a lot of problems calling her A. <laughs> Sounds yeah, like Bonzi. The Thai Canadian. Been in Canada. This is Thai Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> a? What do you say? A? A? a. Yeah, a. yeah. That'd be yeah, like a good Fonzie who's on first. Then. I yeah. know somebody so named A B. A B. Oh, I a. think a. I've met somebody named Are A B. You also. With a. B? She was somebody in the skeptic community for a while. I don't know what happened to her. A B. A B. I don't yeah, know if it was A dot B. I think it was A B. No, not Avi. Go ahead, I was talking. I was texting with a with a, a tech support person whose name was Mister, just <laughs> Mr. Period. Oh. Really? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Four. Yeah. Okay. Number four. Um, as, as I mentioned, the friends of ours, the husbands and wives, were um, they were psychics and they were so enthralled with what was going on at this ceremony. All along, it had nothing to do with anything religious. It was because of gambling. It was the lottery. Oh, no. Oh, you were so close. <laughs> we rejected that. that. Yeah. That's all it was. Sorry, so Gail. Lottery, ticket, lottery tickets are very commonly sold at Buddhist temples. And the day that we visited, oh. the day we visited was the day before the monthly national lottery was being held. And the temple <laughs> we went to is called the Lucky Temple because the largest grand prize ticket was sold there a few years before. So the ceremony was nothing more than people choosing lottery ticket numbers. That's all it is. <laughs> so so much, Good guess. Yeah. yeah, so so much for the psychics and mentalists. And, and they got it actually when they went back. And home, they, they didn't get it right either, though. They never win the lottery. No, no they, didn't, they didn't win. So it's number not, five. Not the not number 555 five, five in Thailand is very funny. Why? Uh, it's because uh, uh, in Thailand. Five in Thai is ha, H-A. So five, five, five is ha, ha, ha. Oh. So, so we... here, so instead of using like LOL in America, when someone says something funny, you're texting, everyone says five, five, five. It means ha, ha, ha. <laughs> All right, you guys. We're no. close. We're so we said that. Make that on. We can do it. We said that it sounds action. funny, which is true. Sounds yeah. like ha, ha, ha. No, is don't give it to them. Yeah, you I guess that. But yeah, that was the question. It, it sounds funny. funny. Yeah. It says it's very funny, so that would be. Well, sounds like a funny Thai word is what I have. Yeah, it sounds like a funny Thai oh. word. Uh -huh. Nope, nope, yeah. nope. No? Nah. Right. Is so that's the question. Uh -huh. No. Number six, This the Thai city that has the world's longest name is Bangkok. Yeah. All right. Yay. Good job. So can you explain you why, why is there that long ass name and then it's Bangkok with no part of Bangkok in that whole thing? Is that the spirits well, the, again? Well, <laughs> well the actually the, the name in English, what the, the formal name of Bangkok is in English is the city of angels, the great city, the eternal jewel city, the impregnable city of God, Indra, the grand capital of the world, endowed by nine precious gems, the happy city abounded, an enormous royal city that resembles the heavenly abode where reigns the reincarnated God, the city given by Indra and built by Varanashtim. That's yeah, what the name called that. <laughs> That's the name of the city. Well, how did they choose Bangkok? Yeah, I don't think that answered my question. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> because because that illustrious ruler he talked about um walked into a short pole. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Karen. Uh, well, well, if funny. you look at if you look at the name of Bangkok, what I said. It's oh. Kurung Tep Maha Nakorn. Thais don't call Bangkok Bangkok. They call it Kurung Tep for short. And I never know what they're talking about. And that's why they call Bangkok here. So it, it goes by that long name. Well, Number what was seven. that? Up, Tom? What was it? The first two. The first two. It sounds like a joke. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Number seven. Thailand is a little years ahead of the country, ahead of most countries. So the year in Thailand is 2566. No. Ooh. No way. Yeah, 25, uh, 25, but I guess that's going to be alive. Still, you so you add that and we got it exactly right? You got what? it right? What? How? Okay, I happen to know that uh, <laughs> Buddha was uh, born, what is it, five? 543. 
So, uh, yeah, 540 for the number. Wow. Yep. Is that wow. So <laughs> I was actually adding adding it together to get our uh, get the number I gave you. Got I was I was teasing to tell you it came. It was a wild ass oh, guess. Oh, thank you. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, very <laughs> good. <laughs> 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 Information there. Very good. Excellent. Uh, number eight. A very common English term is white elephant. I wanted to oh, elephant party. Oh, yes. Thank you, Gail. And, yeah. and the reason why it's a white elephant is because um, white elephants are sacred and they can't work. Elephants here are used for hauling lumber and doing construction oh. work. White elephants are sacred and they can't work and they're owned by the king. So if the king wants to punish uh, one of his enemies, he gives them a gift of a white elephant. That way, whoever that enemy was has to, has a care for it, can't use it, and they go bankrupt because they can't afford to care for a white elephant. Oh. And then the elephant starves. How is that good? Well, yeah. No, they, they have to can't kill the elephant because it's sacred. Who said they care? It's, it's sacred. Mm -hmm. but, well, the king so should why. care. I don't know about the person, but. Yeah. That's, that's how it's it's the king. The elephant it's care. Really? He walked into it very hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, number nine, unlike Western countries, nobody wears shoes inside yeah. their homes at all. So, How about socks? Um, no, um, I don't know. I don't think so. I, I, I've never seen socks here, I guess. Really? But, but it's not because you walk on tile and it's warm anyway. So people really don't wear socks. I haven't seen socks. Interesting. People wear sandals, but I haven't worn shoes now in six years. What if all. you need like orthotics or you need foot support, you know? Like if you walk on just flat ground, it's or you're like painful. diabetic or something. Yeah, that's yeah. just made up. You don't really need that. They just sell Protect you something. Your feet. <laughs> <laughs> like or you're a germaphobe. It's big. Yeah, you big, don't have germaphobe big shoes or something. It's not allowed. No, you're yeah. falling you're not afraid of Germans. Hi, sweetie. No, but but when you go to a store, stores are the same way. When you go to a store, you have to look on the ground because if you see shoes at the doorway, you take off your shoes. If you don't, then you're allowed to wear shoes in the stores. So what about you if you have like a boots that need a boot puller to get them off? <laughs> then you go to Thailand. <laughs> you to then you're yeah, in the you wrong country because it's yeah, too for real. in Thailand. <laughs> yeah, then you don't belong. What, you if, don't what belong. about if you're the first person in the store in the morning and you look down, there's no shoes, but you are supposed to take them off and you don't know that because there's no shoes <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> what about if you're in the store and you have a news owner. crew, you have a news crew following you and you're Governor DeSantis and he's like, oh, I'll leave my boots on. The white boots, the white, the white boots. That makes yeah. a lift with his lift. The, lift, the white go-go boots. Same with the uh, uh, David yeah. Miscavige. All right, come on, you guys. And number ten, um, the movie um, with James Brosnan is Tomorrow Never Dies. Ooh, yeah. Oh, good, right. Mike. No, I oh, actually saw the movie. I saw the movie never, last. What? Tomorrow Never Dies. Tomorrow Never Dies. What yeah. do we have? Thought, it's a it's a deep bitty, Susan. Okay, what was number no two? What's the answer to two? Number two is corn, sweet corn. Well, it's Could better he get a kitty. Shrimp. Cindy has a kitty. Yep, but number ten, I saw the movie last night, and um, the movie takes place in China and Vietnam. So this is strange. And it turned out that when I was watching the movie, they showed a scene in Saigon, of a, a ship picking up James Brosnan. And on the ship had some Thai letters on it. it. Made no sense. Turned out when they filmed the movie, the Vietnamese government took away their visas and wouldn't allow them to film. So they had to go to Thailand to film the movie instead. Oh. And, and they pretended I was in Vietnam, but if you look closely, you could tell it was in Vietnam. Hmm. That's all. And that's all, folks. That's Good all. job. Let's get our scores here. So, Speaking of uh, DeSantis, uh, my surgeon's name is uh, DeSantis. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Interesting uh -oh. fact. But not Santos. Uh -oh. He knows he's he's know he's going to lose for the uh, nomination. He's trying out another profession. Uh. <laughs> Keep his hands out of your mouth. Uh -oh. Oh. 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 All right, so what do we got for scores? Um, let's start with Iceland and Trump, both spew toxic hot gas, which was the team that Jamie was on. Three. We're just scoring high there. Okay, you can have my chocolate when you pray it for my cold, dead hands. We like that number, so we also got a three. Ooh. Oh, that's nice of you guys to make everybody else feel welcome. <laughs> How about Justin, Jamie Scott named winner of this week's trivia? Well, we blew him away. We got five. 
Wow. I didn't even know they made numbers that high. If you put two more, then we can That's laugh. That's funny. <laughs> okay. All right. So we got um, the vom vol vomitorium. Vomitorium is on your right. <laughs> Uh, I got six. That makes sense, team. Yeah, I guess. Six. And now let's go to WASP one hundred seven B. Also six. Mm. Hey, you got an average score mm. of four point six. Wow! And they're still in the lead. Very good. We are oh, learning yeah. and learning and learning. See, the problem is I learn new things. But it pushes out. Like when I get another new thing, it pushes out the other thing that I just learned. It's like there's no storage capacity in my brain. I that was an episode of Married with Children when Al was on on uh, Jeopardy. Well, that makes and his sense. daughter was on Jeopardy, and she forgot that her father was a was a scored four touchdowns. Oh, <laughs> okay, Peggy oh. Pig. I hope Peggy's category is not Married with Children. Or thank you, Kevin. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, I don't think my team's going to be happy with my category, but tonight's category is opera in the movies. So these are uh, movies oh, that either wow. reference or feature opera. Uh, Why I'm would sure, you do that? I'm sure Susan will know all of these when she joins our team. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Why would I the do rule, that? The number one rule is, Peggy, uh, you know I'm on your team. <laughs> you should have done this. opera in cartoons. Oh, my God. There are other people on the team. Come on. Oh my okay, God. let's see. All right, everybody. It's going to be a low-scoring game. Wonderful. Well, let's, <laughs> maybe somebody will have it. Maybe the answer category. is Bugs We will Bunny. learn something. Susan says she likes low scoring games. Okay. I do, actually, I do. The, the two forms category. of music that I just don't like are opera and country. Country, country and, and country. Western. Number one, in the 1990 film Pretty Woman, a very plausible Cinderella story about a streetwalker and a millionaire, the billionaire flies the hooker on a private jet to see her first opera in San Francisco. What thematically related opera do they go see? Thematically, what does that mean? Oh, Robin knows the answer. <laughs> Do you think so? I never saw all of Pretty Woman. I saw tiny bits. I've seen it like twenty five times. Wow! She should do a category in it. Uh -oh. I don't even know the answer. So hush. Number two. During the helicopter battle scene in Apocalypse Now from nineteen seventy eight, what operatic piece is played? Man, I flew over the canyon to Waimea, Hawaii, and he put that record on. And um, I, think I, I actually think I know the answer to that one. Oh, that might be a shock. That's a popularly known thing generally, you know? Yeah, well. Okay. Um, Does, doesn't mean I know the name of it. It, okay, Marx Brothers, we're back to the Marx Brothers. 1935 classic Marx Brothers film, A Night at the Opera. The boys end up sabotaging a production of what classic opera in their attempt to help two young singers? You have a choice of oh, La okay. Boheme, oh. Otello, Il Trovatore, or Marriage of Figaro. So you have a 25% chance there. Cool. If I understand those, and I probably don't. Okay. Are there duplicate answers? Uh, are there duplicate answers? Well, some of those answers might be in somewhere else. Do uh, they wear um, shoes? That's the important thing. Are there duplicate <laughs> answers? It's, it's I'll, the opera, I'll not ballet. I'll duplicate answer thing in a minute. I have to look at my list of answers because I don't actually recall because it's been a while since I looked at this. Hey. A. 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 <laughs> okay, number four in this 1993 Jeremy Irons film, allegedly based on a true story, Irons plays a French diplomat who falls in love with a Chinese opera singer who turns out to be male. What is the title of the film based on a Puccini opera? Oh. There's a, there's a stray word there. It's Puccini opera, and it shouldn't have Puccini in opera. A. Oh, I would have known it otherwise. Okay. Yeah, I think it's it's really going to help you to know. Uh, I know it, it doesn't go now. There. It doesn't make sense to me. Uh, I thought it was something Sorry. else already. 
I know there are music people in this group and they might be love in this category. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I would like to show you what I have sitting right here next to my computer. Ah, she's getting her cut. <laughs> An opera program from last weekend. Yay. Oh. All right. Um, am I at five? Okay. Number five in the 1987 film Moonstruck. What Puccini opera features prominently in the film score and the main characters attend at the end of the film? Robin, we can hear you. Mute yourself, Robin. Okay. It's the team. Voices from outer space. Um, number six, <laughs> name the 1981 French thriller film, which concerns concerns a delivery boy obsessed with opera and a particular female singer getting involved in an international spy ring. This film was described by critic David Denby as one of the most audacious and original films to come out of France in recent years. It has a 96% fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Which, you know, that's high. It's very high. Very, very. Yeah. High. So all three people that have seen it liked it. This was. <laughs> I was gonna say John Oliver. Probably, John Oliver probably told everybody to vote on it. <laughs> it was big when it came out. Number seven. In what 1994 film does the narrating character Ellis say after hearing the letter duet? from the marriage of Figaro played over the PA system by Andy. I have no idea to this day what those two Italian ladies were singing about. I'd like to think they were singing about something so beautiful it can't be expressed in words. Those voices soared higher and farther than anybody in a gray place dares to dream. For the brief briefest of moments, every last man felt free. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh! Mm -hmm. All right. Favorite movie. I think I know this one. You're not. You remember you're not. You're not muted, people. So I know. I didn't say nothing. Just Karen, I might Karen, know it. Karen just gave the answer away. Oh, oh, no, oh. she didn't. I'm writing it down. No, she no, didn't. I'm just getting it out of my into my head. I'm Maybe trying to mute everybody. No, I kind of like hearing these comments. <laughs> From the peanut gallery. Number eight, name the title of the 2016 biographical film starring Meryl Streep about an American socialite and singer who is described as the world's worst opera singer. The poet <laughs> William Meredith wrote that one of her recitals was never exactly an aesthetic experience or only to the degree that an early Christian among the lions provided aesthetic experience. Hugh Grant plays the husband of the singer. I love the movie in the theaters. I have no recollection of the name. <laughs> you need to pay more attention. I got it, Rob. Thank you. That's very chilling to the rest of the teams knowing a team knows the answer. Number nine, Topsy Turvy, a 1999 film by Mike Lee, was about the writing and production of what Gilbert and Sullivan opera? And finally, if I can just copy the whole freaking thing. Copy, go back here, go back to chat. Here we go, paste. In this Oscar-winning 1993 drama film directed by Jonathan Demme, one of the main characters is the lawyer for the other main character, who is also a lawyer. The lawsuit involves a wrongful termination from employment issue. When the two main characters meet to discuss the case, the client character plays La Mama Morta from Umberto Giordano's Andrea Chenier and explains the plot to the other character. Name the film. Okay. That's 10. Do I have power? Okay. Do I have power? Well, what do you think? I think I probably do. I have to go to four. I'm in charge. Am I not in charge? Okay. I only have one job here. You're the best. Susan's just the I best. I can give power. <laughs> Any questions before we open all rooms and send you all off to, to tell, hey, uh, tell each other how shitty I am? Do you have duplicates? Do you have duplicate answers? Oh, hang on. Hang on. She shouldn't have to answer that. Yes, she should. 
<laughs> what was the question? I, I said I would answer it. I, I, I probably think the shouldn't answer have is said that. maybe. That's what I'd like to hear. Yeah, you're giving her a There's no extra rule hint. against it. No, and there you're isn't. It's a judgment team. call. I don't think it hurts to tell you that no. There's okay. no rule against well, it. It, it, it helps me. It narrows things down for me. Yeah. Yeah. So it did help me. Good. Gives me one okay. less chance choice. Oh, I have to go to my room. I'm standing here like a. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. And I've never seen him. I just remember. Hello, him. team. Wow. Hello. So you know all of these, right, Susan? Oh, um, you yeah. know number one? Do you know number, number one? One is. La Bohème. Okay, no idea. It's La Bohème. About the number process. two is. Um, Flight of the Valkyries. Okay. Yeah, do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah. The guy was funny. He was flying over there, and he said, "Oh, by the way, this is where Jurassic Park was filmed." So that was interesting. And then he, and by the way, I was a nom, and this is what we had playing. And he played that music live over our headphones in in the helicopters. Oh dear. I have no idea what number three is. Yeah, not a clue. Well, at least we have a 25% chance. Yeah. Um, well, it's I not La Bohème. Mary my... Tavigaro is a funny one, so maybe that's what it was. That was my inclination just because it's got to do with a wedding and he's helping two young singers. Okay, that would just... Just as a guess. But just a guess. I'm trying to um, think. Four... Who wrote? Was that a Puccini opera? No idea. I don't even know what a Puccini is. Puccini. No idea. Poser. Da, 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 da. Um, I think a music. Are we, are we looking at Moonstruck? I think I failed. By the it. way, we're by looking the way. at four. Four, which is the Puccini opera. And I've seen it. Well, so is number five. Yeah, that's why I was thinking you jumped. Oh, I see. That's why you asked about is it the same? Based on the Puccini opera, yeah, but that one's asking that. Mm -hmm. Number oh, one, five. One's asking for the film, and the other one's asking for the yeah. opera. I don't remember Moonstruck. Who remembers Moonstruck? Oh, I, we just we just saw that a month ago or so, and um, Nicholas Cage is obsessed with the uh, and. I remember it well, and I don't freaking remember the name of the opera. He brings it to the opera. He's dressed up in a tux, and I don't remember. Such Phantom either. of the Opera? No, it's not Phantom of the Opera. That's a no. musical. No, I, no. I think I know the Puccini opera, and I've seen it. It was the first. So, one. what did you say the answer was to number one? La Boheme. La Boheme. Mm hmm. Uh -huh. Okay, so sure which that's are right. we on now? Meryl Streep? No, seven? Yeah, seven, is, seven is, we guess, was Shawshank Redemption. Wow. Yeah, I'm almost yeah. positive it's Shawshank yeah. Redemption. Yeah. yeah. The prisoner one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's Shawshank Redemption. You've seen Shawshank Redemption based yeah. on the Stephen King novel. What a great movie. I You watch it only one time. I have never it's seen like, it. It's like, uh, you haven't seen Great it? movie. No, I know it's on the right list. list a Rob. bazillion movies. Number. But you can only watch it once. Eight it's like Florida. Saving Private Ryan. You can only watch it once. Number 10, I think it's Philadelphia. I didn't see it. That's the one where um Tom Hanks has AIDS and they wrongfully terminate him and he's an attorney. Oh, yes. Yeah. I didn't see it, but I did. I saw that well, I also in the theater. But ninety three sounds about right. Mm -hmm. But I don't remember anything in connection to an opera for it. So don't know, but okay. I think that sounds num right. Number nine, the Mikado. I think that's the only full opera that Gobert and Sullivan did. They did mm -hmm. other operettas. I think it's the Mikado. Um, spell this. 
M I K A D O. The Mikado. Yeah. El Mikado. La Mikado. The Mikado. The Mikado. I don't know that at all. What does it mean, Romero? Mercado. Somebody's name is Mercado. Is some different. Mercado means market, but it's spelled different. Yeah. It's, yeah. Spelled... Mm. it's somebody's last name, right? Mercado. Why yeah. would it be the? Somebody, but is the other spelling, which means market. Oh. I know I've heard the word. I just don't know what it meant. So the I psychic. It was that uh, psychic. So, but, so, so to six. Does anyone know this? Oh, uh, what's his face? Walter Mercado. That's why it sounds familiar. He's from Puerto about? Rico, let's, isn't let's, he? let's answer questions. We still have like four left. Oh, well, I thought you guys had these. We were on number town. six. We don't know the French thriller, do we? Not a clue. I mean, the only not, only no, movie that no. comes to mind, and I don't think it fits at all, is the French Connection. But yeah, that's, that's not right. of course it's got French, and that's not right. It's not, I don't think yeah. that was out of France at all. And all the right. only French film that's coming to my mind is 400 Blows by Transfer Truffaut, and I know that's not it. Uh, all right, we're not going to get that one. Uh, going backwards, The Moonstruck again. So, freaking opera was he obsessed with? This came up numerous times. It was a love story, a failed love story. I guess a lot of operas are like that because it, it was pertinent. Yeah, to I his think life. that one's La Bohème. Uh, no, okay. La Bohème was about a prostitute, and that was from that was in that's where they go in Pretty Woman. Oh, so so the story here is, is um, he his his arm got damaged, and he was like wearing a glove on it the whole time, and and his and his girl fiance left him because of that um phantom of the opera Fan mm. no phantom of the opera is a musical madam butterfly maybe i don't know the opera well what's the plot somebody wears a bright colored gown <laughs> okay no i think it's about a woman I know they did like a musical about that. Or or did he do Othello? Because that's also Yeah, yeah. So I think I think the character of the of the song he was obsessed with was from the opera where he, he's deformed, so he loses his girlfriend and you know he's really attached to to share character and doesn't think that she, he'll she will love him because of his deformed arm. Um but that's all I can think of and I don't remember any more than that about the film score that he was uh this the, the opera score that he was crazy about obsessed with i'll say no uh so we also don't have one for four the french diplomat chinese mm -hmm. opera singer it's that have to be a male oh maybe that's that? based off madam butterfly Ooh. But isn't that one Chinese? Oh, but we need the film name, not the opera in this case. Mm -hmm. Shit. So, yeah, what was the film where the reveal at the end that the, the woman was a guy? That was a big deal at the time. And I didn't see that movie. Ugh. Only one I know of him in was in. Don't come at me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Oh, this is hmm. number six. Let's go with Madam Butterfly for that one. Okay. Because is that a Puccini? Number six oh, is the ninety-six. They want the film. They want the film number name. Number six though. is what? The film name. 
Oh. With the 96% fresh rating. So you're thinking from your recollection that the delivery boy was obsessed with Madame Butterfly, but what's the Maybe. name? Maybe let's of, go with that know. one because I know. What? Let's go with that one. No, no, we need a film name. I think no. I'm talking about Moonstruck. Sorry. That's oh, that's one. number five. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Two minutes. Take us out of our misery. <laughs> I think we did a lot better than we than. Um, what do we want to guess? Thought. Four, six. Well, four. We need a movie. I can't think of anything from that period of time with that plot. My only clue was the misgendering of the character. And I remember one film from that general period, vaguely, that that was the shocker at the end. And I can't remember that film name. So other than that clue, I'm not even sure I'm right. I don't know. And then the other one was the, the French thriller, We Need a Name. Uh, we don't know that either. Go with 400 Blows. Six? 400 Blows? Yes, I know that's not the right answer, but it's... I have never heard of that movie. Friends watch Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we just only have one answer for seven. Uh, the, 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 the name of the movie. With hey, did the... you know that uh, Gorilla Skeptics is operates okay. under the blessing of of Jimmy Wales? I'm I'm thrilled to hear that, but I did not know that. I didn't know that either. Who it's it's from the article you wrote, Rob? Did did uh, wait, what? What are you talking about? That's what they're quoting you... from i mean they're they're linking to your article who's yeah. that can you can you, you, give me a you, link? you, you have certainly links. seen references yeah, given to is. backup statements that have nothing to do with the <laughs> statement that they're supposed to back you, up you have a quote from jimmy wells in your article in 2018 that you want to come up with a film to guess that doesn't mean it's we don't done know. with his blessing no but that's where they're getting that line yeah. that the, jimmy wells so that's that's first. better than most uh five seconds uh, we're out references. we got nothing for four well, so give me a link susan since i know what you're talking about so, i'm tired i gave it to you in facebook on your messenger oh okay but I you have know. to kind of follow the threads because it's just he gave us like here's where i started and i went down this rabbit hole until okay. i got the rob's article but in the second link, they talk about Susan Gerbic. And then I've just put Gerbic in the um, find on Reddit. Who is this Susan Gerbic person? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, they said, these people are not skeptics. They're simply propagandists. I'm glad you put names on it. Susan Gerbic and the gorilla skeptics. Don't let these shitheads live it down. <laughs> uh, that Susan Gerbic ah, person was the most applauded Susan person Gerbic. at PsyCon. Yeah, yeah, I would, well, I would you know, say. You know, that was just a bunch of shitheads. <laughs> Besides Jeannie Scott, of course, but you oh, know, Jeannie that's Scott, because she had all the accolades. Yeah. Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> I, I can't even follow this line of reason because there is no line of reason. They're upset that people on Wikipedia are using UFO instead of using UAP because we don't find it credible enough. It's like, I'm just going to continue with UFO. Okay, here we go. Opera, everybody. Uh, of course you would have a a I have to have a PowerPoint. It's the funnest part of the category making. <laughs> she goes, I just want to I just want to use the that, that looks good. good. That looks good. Okay, number one is La Traviata. Oops. And oh, that's Michalis dying in La Traviata. Um, Ride of the Valkyries is number two. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Kill the rabbit. <laughs> Number three <laughs> was Il Trovatore. And this uh, movie is the one right. with the stateroom scene. And that's just such a great scene. I had yes. to put it in the it stateroom. Hilarious room. scene, yes. Number four is M. Butterfly. Glad to see some people getting that one. Mm. And number five is La Boheme. Uh, and number six was Diva. This movie was a great film, and 
I it, enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it greatly. It it was so different and had a totally different voice, and it still has a good rating. And I haven't seen it in years, and I don't even know if you can see it. But if you get a chance, see it. Hmm. Number seven is Shawshank. Love it. Mm -hmm. Great, Great film. movie. Lovely scene. Just a really oh, just a scene. wonderful scene. Yeah. Number eight was Florence oh. Foster Jenkins. Although, oh, I'm sorry guys, Florence, sorry guys, I'll take Florence. Florence yes, thank you. Oh, that's it. Thank you, and Cindy. If you get a chance to see that movie, it is really fun. Yeah, and Florence yeah. is is the real she's amazing. She's so, she's the real Florence so is blind to her inability to sing. Yeah, mm. she was definitely the worst opera singer I've ever heard. <laughs> Number nine is The Mikado. Another great oh. film. If you haven't seen Topsy Turvy, that's a great film. And mm. fun. Good music. Great performances. Fabulous costumes. Number 10 is Philadelphia. Yay. I never saw it. It sounds too oh, great movie. Okay, good job. All you right. You can get zero. Are you going to put the uh, answers in the chat? I will put the answers in the chat. What a great yeah. right, Thank you. All right, so let's go over here to the school. She just never said when. <laughs> well, <laughs> 12 to 21. No, I, I, didn't, I didn't hear one gotta... of them because my cat interrupted. What was number five? Hang on. She's putting them in the chat. Aboem. Ice, Lind, and chat. And chat. And there they are. Both spew toxic hot gas. I'm waiting for a number. Team. What does the little C be for? <laughs> oh, oh, no, I'm sorry. That was the choice. It was multiple choice. Thank you. Okay, that what, what's is the... that the Iceland and Trump? We have eight. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Eight. All right. Uh, you can hold, hold, have my chocolate when you can pray for my cold, dead hands. Five. Respectable. Mm. Justin, G. Scott, named winner of this week's trivia. Eight. Eight. And the vomitorium is on your right. Our worst score of the evening for Ooh. and our team. We have five. We have five. So I, I had uh, two, seven, nine, and ten. Which other one? Wait, do you have? we got eight. Not on that. Team. No, no. Was we got ten. Wow. Faith is is huh? correcting a score of another team. Which one? Yeah, oh, we got two, one. seven, eight, nine, and ten. So how many? Five? Five. So we got number eight? We got number eight. Florence Falls Jenkins. Okay, I didn't hear that. Good. Well, there you go. Okay, mm -hmm. good job, Peggy. Sort of. <laughs> no, it was a good job. They're well-written questions. I just don't know anything about it. It was a good team effort. I don't know a lot about movies. Everybody had a little we, bit to We say. got points, so there's that. I mean, well, you guys got points. I no one got, got zero. Points. Yeah, no one got zero. So it's better than previous than some yeah, other seven, categories. Seven, two, a couple of eight. Good. That's pretty good. I'm I was impressed. But we almost team, had a nine. We just couldn't remember that one score, name. So there is hmm. that. That was really good. Okay, now remember what I warned you guys at the beginning when we started today. I said Adrian will be here in a little bit, and Adrian wants you to know that everybody's going to be mad at her. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, she told us that in our Are you all set with people hour. for next week? Oh, thank you so much, Karen, for reminding us before we get to Adrian. I have zero people for next week. Who is going to be here? That's a trick. Don't raise your hand. I'll, yeah. okay, I'll volunteer zero for Zero people are going to be Cindy's here. here. Okay, Susan, I'll volunteer for bonus. Oh, okay, bonus. Easy all right, one. Cindy's got bonus. Rob? No, he's not going to be here. Don't Gail? Lose again. Um, Gail said here. she'd be here? Oh, what the heck. All I'll right. be here. Yay, Rob! I, I will be here. I will see if I can come up Better with a Better not be a Luan category. Yay, Yay Rob! Rob! I love your category. Peggy? No? I have to do something about that. No, I can't be here. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> it's a holiday. 
Shouldn't you figure out how many people are going to be here? What if you get five people and then... And then the very part part two and a group of if I have five categories, that's five people that have to show up. <laughs> One but man team. There's nobody to One guess. Because it's like, how does that we'll work? One we'll man team. Oh, Everybody we'll has it's out. five people against themselves. Well, all, the Canadian, all the Canadians have to show up. Just do one thing. Vincent will get out of his hospital bed. Okay, just Gail, Ron, and Cindy for sure. <laughs> no, I don't think I'll Gail do one. I'll do one. Uh, Vincent, if I could show up Kevin, eight hours, you don't need to get out of your hospital you bed, Vincent. You can bring you a computer. Susan, I showed up yeah. in the hospital once. It wouldn't be the Was first Karen? time, yeah. Kevin. yeah. Susan, did you get Kevin? I know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but they no, did. Um, she came in right from the room and just was like, room, I was right like eight hand. hours out of surgery, still on the anesthesia. Did I hear something, Karen? Ramiro, were you raising your hand? You went like this. I'll be here. Uh, Thank you for coming. Okay. I may come, but I don't know. Maybe we'll Got just it. do four categories. Yeah, I think it's out. Fine. You guys will be all right. You'll figure it out. Okay. Adrian has her powers. I'm kind of concerned. It's probably something scary. It's very scary. Uh, Canadian operas. <laughs> opera singers. There's no such thing. Left-handed well, opera singers. Canadian jiggle. Oh, wiggle. <laughs> Names of the <laughs> left-handed opera singers that had famous movie quotes. There you go. <laughs> also Only been, in those. Um, uh, professional hockey teams. Oh, and there we go. Don't oh, give her ideas, you guys. Uh, that's my category for next week. <laughs> what you got? All right. So this this is something inspired by George Rubb with his, from his podcast in number 837. It's a little bit random. So some people may not be very happy with me because you're going to have to guess. But you may know it. You never know. So there's something he talked about, which were exonyms versus endonyms versus something he called literal nyms. Mm -hmm. And an exonym is a name for a place or group of people that is yeah. only used outside that place. For example, we call Germany, Germany in Canada and the U.S., versus an endonym is what they actually call the country within the country, such as Deutschland for Germany, okay? And then there's the literal nim, which is what George Robb made up. He made up the term. The literal translation of these names going back uh, is the would be the land of the people. So the exonym is Germany, and it literally means land of the people from the endonym. So Anybody else lost? <laughs> yeah, it's oh. fine. It's <laughs> no, I totally get it. Yeah. Adrian, that you stole my category except for the literal part. Oh, really? Yeah, that's cool. Evan, that's <laughs> I think right. that I've always found it very fascinating. Like things like you go to Austria, and you know, it, it, it's, it's, yeah, Austria. it's, it's all. You go to Bangkok, different. and you can't say the other one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and that was really funny. With what Jamie was talking about with the name, it was very. Uh, I just accidentally pasted the same thing in so i'm just trying to make sure you don't have double everything so just give me a second here so I'll give you the first bit this explains that a little bit i'll give you the example and Who so what is this going george to... rob guy ah you can yeah. blame him if you don't like this category game him i just thought this was so fun when he was talking about this so the site that is i'm using is one he used and it you the sources cited are from the CIA, the World Fact Book of the Central Intelligence Ag Agency from 2018, and the Oxford University Press and A to Z, Z I'm going to say Z of Country <laughs> Name Origins 2018. So some of these you may you know I looked up some random ones to confirm, and they seem to be legit, but there's some pretty crazy ones. I didn't check them all. I just used that site. And I'll put, post the site later on. So I will give you 13 countries, number one through 13, and 13 literal translations of the endonym, okay? And you have to pick 10. 
all there are 13 matches but you just have to pick 10. Some of them will be, you're going to guess, I'm sure. Some of them you might know, and some of them you might, you might be able to figure out. So I tried to make it sort of a mix. Some of them I picked because I just thought they were hilarious. So there you go. So there you have the 13 exonyms. And it, when you write them down, so the number one is Spain. So if you think Spain is land of the rising sun, you'd go one Spain is J. Okay, so match it up with the... No, put the letter with the country to make it easy for when I read it back, if that makes sense. Any questions? Are there any answers? What's the category <laughs> called? <laughs> Exonyms, endonyms, and literal nyms. Are they all countries or cities or just They're countries? They're all countries. They're all countries. And they should be in the chat right now. Okay. That's, okay. And so there's no there's no endonyms unless they happen to be the same, right? Yes. And there, so I did not include any of the endonyms, but the literal nyms come from the endonyms, if that makes got sense. It. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So confusing terminology. But anyway, I thought it was Is a- Canada in uh, one of those choices? It no, is. Yes, it is. It number is. Number oh, cool. Because I know the answer to that one. <laughs> oh, I hope cool. so. I hope it's right. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody's no, going to No, I just anyway. know the answer to that one. I just... I didn't know it, so there you go. No, I did know it. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I knew the answer to that for Canada, but I don't see the 51st see state there? anywhere. I'm super yeah. glad the mentions on my team because when I we will score a point. <laughs> so ho go. hopefully it's there. And if not, well, this is this is based on the website. And it's a really cool website. It's got the maps and it's got all the funny fun names. Mm. There's some very interesting ones. All right. So I guess I need to send you to your rooms if there's no more questions. Mm -hmm. And I had I hope I did that wrong. Where's my rooms? There we go. It's a fun one. Hi, right, team. Well, Japan so, is the land of the rising sun. Yeah, I think we're all going to get that one. That's the only one we all know, right? Yep. Because of <laughs> their flag. It is true. Land on the edge. That seems so familiar. Romania is E. Number three is E. Nice. Uh, people from Rome. Okay. Norway is North Northern Way. That makes sense. Um, what would be Middle yes. Kingdom? I, huh. Where are you at? The village. Hmm. Let's, see, let's go uh, one down, start on one down, work our way down. Um, oh, many rabbits? Spain, Spain. <laughs> How about, Spain uh, the land of many rabbits? Nine for, nine for K, warm pork, Portugal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that makes Good sense, call. yeah. Okay. Land of land the tall the people. Edge. Is that Ethiopia? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Aren't they very tall? I don't have that in my mind, but maybe. Compared to some of the neighboring countries? Or, well, that's probably European. true. Yeah. They're very short. Hmm. Crane. Land of the burnt faces. Land of the edge heavy. is very familiar. I, I have a feeling Ethiopia. land inside the Silvery River is Crane. Because isn't there a white river or... Would right be. There. You're saying H for Ukraine? I, I'm yeah. guessing. I, I thought I've heard that before. Sure, sure, why not? Isn't that isn't there a, a a river that goes right through there that's kind of on the Russia area? It's a, I thought it was called the White River. Could very or well whatever be. it's called in, in Ukrainian to mean white. We got the Black Sea. Why not the White River? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe Iceland is Snowland. 
because it was named to deter the Vikings from raiding oh, Ireland. Uh -huh. I see. Okay. I'm sorry. It certainly is the uh, coldest of all the countries that are left. Yeah. No land Canada. for Iceland. Yeah, but yeah, because Iceland was named in order to deter the Vikings from raiding it. Okay. They wanted people to think that Makes it sense. was just a. Uh, Nothing was there. That was just all snow and ice. Where's our? Did we? Did we not have any Canadians? Oh, I tonight? think it was Greenland. I think that was the name Greenland to try to get the raiders yeah, people to, to go Greenland. there. Yeah, right. yeah. leave Iceland alone. Leave Iceland alone. Because sure. Greenland is icier than uh, Iceland, sure. right? I think Little. that land of the tall people. Oh God, I I hate to commit. But I, I feel like it's Ethiopia, but I don't. Could be. Gosh. What's Middle Kingdom? I mean, we can put it up I, there. I have, yeah, I had China in my head too, but I can't justify it. I thought they called themselves the Middle Kingdom. The fact uh -huh. that we both had that, let's put in it. In China? I like it. Yes. Yeah. Well, it does feel really familiar. I thought it'd be New Zealand because New Zealand is... What? Okay, so it's very much Middle Earth. Um, the land of many rabbits. How about Argentina? The big pampas. Uh, that to me would be, be rabbit territory. I was going to put that for Macedonia, but I'm not going to necessarily oh, okay. argue it. Land I, of burnt faces. Spain, Mexico. And so we need, the moon? we need 10 of these 13, right? Yeah. One, two, right. three, four. So we need two five, more. Six, seven, eight. Massive land dogs. of the burnt faces, I'm going to think, is one of the uh, equatorial nations, Mexico, Spain. <laughs> yeah. I've never heard yeah. that. Me neither. It can to be the land of many rabbits. Couldn't be. Is there a lot of rabbits in Canada. Or, Spain's not really on the know, on equatorial the rabbits. For many rabbits. How about the village for Canada? That to me sounds like something like an indigenous <laughs> people would say. Yeah. The village? Yeah. For Canada, maybe? What about in the navel yeah. of the moon, though? I mean, it's... What about Macedonia? Is that that's a real small country, isn't it? Um, yeah. the moon. Relatively, sure. Macedonia. Land right of the Croatia. edge. Macedonia? Land of the edge is so familiar. Um, oh, this is tough. We're getting down to the the dregs, huh? Right. Yeah, well, we're just kind of like trying to guess. Mm -hmm. um, mini rabbits. I'm for Canada. I'm leaning towards in the navel of the moon because there's a lot. The northern countries, northern territories, are desolate, like the moon. It's nothing there. Sure. But is that what they mean by navel of the moon? I don't know. Well, I mean, yes. When you look at the moon, it's it's from in the old days. I mean, it's pretty desolate, white. Yeah. Like there ought to be country. some fuzz, though. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> so, do we like this for Canada? I mean, I guess Why that makes not? the most sense out of all of them. And if it's if it's incorrect, we'll blame Canada. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still thinking of like the early explorers arriving on at this new land, talking to this little tribe, saying, "What do you call this place?" The village. So you're still thinking the village for I'm, Canada? I'm still. I. That's what sure. you know. To me, it's like. But then what would be but in the navel of maybe, the moon? Not so much the people. I don't know. I... But you could apply that to Argentina or Macedonia. Yeah, well, no, well, you could possibly tie it to Argentina, but I'm trying to think if this is a this is a European name adopted from what the indigenous people called it. And I don't I don't know. Anyway. Naval of the moon to me would be more like something like Spanish might call themselves or um, 
or land on the edge since they were considered kind of the edge of the world with um, you know the Gibraltar and Great Sea that yeah Spain would be on the edge of the uh, edge of the world because that's yeah that's... land on the edge would maybe yeah. be Spain. do we do we oh, like that for Spain? Spain okay yeah that's what you were saying Lee right land of the uh, on the edge for Spain uh, yeah or that's no? what that would be my oh, guess Spain? Sometimes if I was yeah saying, I agree. That's something kind of what something consider themselves the end of the world. Oh, that makes you sense. know what? what? No, I, there's a place in England that was called the um, end of the world, and that's okay. That's not what I'm thinking, of, but I have been oh, to Spain. Yeah, yeah. That does sound familiar. It's, I don't know. I don't know for sure. This is well, you, you know, in England, a, there's the one yeah, where it's the last. Why'd you say that it was hmm. the last piece of land you can see as you sail off? It's, right. uh, I thought it was fun. Yeah, it's just... fine. Except yeah. that I'm, I'm thinking for land of burnt faces, it's got to have be Mexico or Argentina of those that are left. Probably Mexico. Well, we have to pick and choose because we can only answer ten unless we're yeah, going so we to be able to put something for everything, and then whichever ones we get right. But yeah, if you put that's it in, then we have to take people more points, mm-hmm. right? Land of so we need to. Mexico. I was. I agree with Mexico. But we okay, can't put them so in, you guys. Okay. So which one we are we? Since we kind of have a not consensus on Canada, do we want to put this for out. Mexico and remove Canada? Cool. I'm so I'm pretty solid on Canada's answer. I mean, that's you're solid on Canada. Other people in the team are not. So we need to come to a consensus. (laughs) And if we're adding one, we need to remove one. So which one? What are we doing, guys? I don't know about the Canada one. All right. I think the burnt faces is better. Yeah. Put Mexico like that. Pull Canada out. There's our 10. Okay. Take it or leave it. We'll see how we do. I want to take a picture of it before we go. I'm oh, scared. okay. You got it? Oh, or you want me? I can throw it in chat. So I can just have a... You used your flash, James. <laughs> I felt flash like I had a memory loss from uh, <laughs> in a block or something. All right. Good job, team. All right, that was a lot more fun than than whatever I thought she was talking about. It was, was quick. That was much easier. We we don't hate you, Adrian. That oh, that's good. My, so weird. <laughs> my team we haven't got so, the scores yet, so hold hold back on my, that. <laughs> my team was so happy that I uh, got. You knew the happy. Canada one. Uh, two teams, I think. I think there was two that knew the Canada one. So, uh, I definitely would have got it wrong. <laughs> How are you going to do this, Adrian? So hmm. what I'm going to do, first of all, I put the website that I got all these from into the chat, and I will go one at a time. I don't and... see it. It's not in the chat yet. Oh, Good I answer. sent it to Karen. Karen? <laughs> Just Karen's Karen. Karen. Hold, hold up your screen, Karen. Karen special. <laughs> okay, all now right. you send it to Spain, land of... Okay, okay. so I'll do that first. I'll put the link in later. Because you know, I was going to say that about Spain. So Spain, it, everybody rabbits. was wondering what the land of many rabbits was, and that's what it is. Oh, oh no, I okay. I got that one wrong. And the yeah. second one is Mexico, and I hope you didn't change your answer, Ramiro. It is in the navel of the moon, yeah. and it goes way back to be like indigenous history, Indeed. apparently. Yay. Oh, and good thing we number... removed that from the other one. <laughs> and one number three, fell. I think everybody got this one. Romania, people from Rome. That was good. Three Yay. Is e. Yes, yeah, three don't is E. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Three is E. So one is L, two is B, three is E. Four is G. Land of oh. burnt no, faces. No, I'm sorry, people. Oh. Who knew? No. <laughs> Right. Sorry, with tall people. I thought it was yeah, tall people. Yeah, we went with tall people as well. Oh. Well, I'm and on the team. 
Number five, Argentina. Some people suss this out because yeah. of silver in the name of Argentina. Land oh, beside I'm sorry, the silvery got... river. Very good. H. Nobody huh. should listen to Susan. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think that's been a running thing. Unless <laughs> she's right. She <laughs> which is nice. never. She and I think wait, I had forgot. one answer today that was correct. And for number six, Iceland. I think everyone got this. It is I, which is Snowland. Yay! Oh, no. <laughs> Yay. I should. Oh, so somebody got it wrong. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought yeah. everybody got it. Right. I think everybody got it. <laughs> Seemed too obvious. Yeah. And oh, I think well, only two teams got this one. For Canada, it is A, the village. No. Oh. Oh. Should have went with we Lee. We took it out. We took yeah. it out. Darn. You should have made that number six. That's yeah. amazing. Good job, Lee. Oh, my team got the that. <laughs> why? The, the, the whole, the whole country the is named wow. after an M. Night movie. Because, well, she, it's the reason why she put the, it as A. Mm -hmm. uh, a. Oh, a oh, oh, you got oh. it, Deborah. You can oh, so I have to tell you my <laughs> one and only Canadian. We didn't get it right, but I just see that. <laughs> I have to tell you my one and only Canadian joke because it fits this so well. Some of you heard this before. Okay. They were trying to name Canada. It had nothing to do with what you just said incorrectly, Adrian. What it was was they couldn't agree on what a name would be. So they decided we'll do it just by chance. So they put all the letters in a hat and they said they'll pick them out one at a time and see what they get. So <laughs> the first person was John. They said, John, go pick out a letter. And he goes and he picks out a letter and he goes, I've got a C, eh? Oh. 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 <laughs> Number eight. Japan, of course. I think everyone got this one. Land J, of the Land of the Rising Sun. And... Another one you could suss out was Portugal is K warm port. Oh, sorry. Mm, yeah. Thank you, Jamie. Talk yourselves out of it. Yeah. It makes it, yeah. And then Macedonia <laughs> is F land of oh, the tall people. Yeah. Darn it. Oh. I guess I've never oh. been there. <laughs> Oh, I was definitely, okay. if, if I had been guessing, I would have thought it would be a Scandinavian country because anytime yeah. I go to the Scandinavian countries, I feel right at home. <laughs> uh, so number 11, China. I think most of you got this, which is Middle Kingdom. I don't, I've never heard that. I didn't know that, but a lot of people seem I, to. I thought it was New Zealand. Middle Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Different than Middle Kingdom. But it wasn't on here. And Norway, Northern Way, which is C. I believe uh, most of you got that. And that leaves the Ukraine being the land on the edge. Uh -huh. That, that edge is it. Is. More oh, I thought it was land beside now. the Silvery River. The edge of extinction. Yeah. Oh, Adrian, you didn't know about Canada being called the village? I've never uh, heard maybe, that. Maybe, but I'd forgotten if I had. Oh. And, there's, and there's the link if you want to check out the map. It's really fun to go around and look at all the different countries. It's actually, there's some really funny ones in there. And some there very isn't. random things. That was fun. That was a <laughs> neat that was round. fun. Move, kitty. You, know, you can thank Carl's. George Rab. He inspired me. Did you they tell probably, him? They probably do this with cities. Yeah. Um, it used to be everybody mm -hmm. called Boston Beantown. Nobody calls Boston Beantown in Boston. Mm -hmm. Only outside of Boston. The great nobody Alfred. calls it Frisco. Oh, nobody calls it Frisco. Oh, Except no. outside. What, what is Beantown Frisco's come from? Texas. What kind of what kind of an insult is that? What is it's that not part? really an insult. They just had Boston baked beans was a thing here. Mm. Oh, I see. But they call it Beantown. In Boston, nobody calls it that. So so you know, know your the state of Nevada. Says Toronto is Hogtown. Hog Toronto's Hogtown. Oh man! And that Calgary is Cowtown. What is that? Cowtown. Well, it is. Cowtown, yep. Well, Calgary yeah. is Cowtown. <laughs> yeah. But it's really uh, funny because they call it Cowtown. Everybody thinks that there's nobody that lives here, and yet we're actually a big city. Yeah. All How right, big scores. is big? Well, big for Canada. Big for Canada, correct? It's All one point right. three million. Adrian's team. Six. I'm Ooh, shocked. Way to go, to team! Get that. All <laughs> right, uh, Iceland and Trump. Seven. Seven. Hey, I'm glad we. Jimmy got Scott that. named winner of the week's trivia. 
Seven. Yeah. Could it be? No, I guess not. Yeah. The vomitorium is on your right. Nine and stop the count right now. <laughs> wow. Wow. Nice. Nice. Nicely done. Oh, that other team didn't get any of them right. They yeah. got two. They got two. Well, they got one. one. The other thing. Is it, what is it? Wasp? Eleven. Seven? Eleven. Oh, <laughs> gosh. <laughs> two? Ten, we... in other words. Huh? They got ten. ten. Nice. Wow. Good nice. job, team. It is. Seven point eight. My, my instincts tell me we won anyway. <laughs> we can get I, I, I guess Jeannie didn't win after all, huh? Of no. course she did. She got an honorable yeah. doctorate from out of the two. She's she's the won the doll. Stop for clicking that ball name. Is we, we failed to realize that all the things that were said about her weren't actually true. True. Oh, unfortunately, I won't be. Wait, here wait. Next what? Week. What, Carl? Yes, yeah, so oh. unfortunately, yeah, Vincent will be thinking about you. Yeah. Yep. Next <laughs> village. I'll he, be in a lot heal quickly. Of pain. Heal quickly, Vincent. Hopefully Hopefully enjoy not. the drugs, yes. Vincent. Enjoy, enjoy the, the drugs. drugs. That's right. Enjoy the, the drugs. drugs. Yes. Exactly. And post yeah. post pictures of yourself. Coming no. out of the drugs. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Only if Adrian no. takes the pictures. So. <laughs> She's actually oh. going to be with my mom. That oh, that'd day. be so sweet, Adrian. Oh, oh Adrian. Thanks. So which, which day is oh. it? Thursday. So we can think about you? Thursday. It'll be on Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday will Wednesday. be the surgery. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So. Well, uh, then you'll be okay for trivia on Thursday. No, <laughs> we'll be fine. No, Vincent, I won't. We'll send you... I, we'll, We'll send you positive thoughts. Yes. Positive and prayers. Thoughts. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> thoughts and prayers. No, no <laughs> thoughts. So Adrian, no thoughts. Will keep, Adrian will keep everyone up to date. So That's sweet of you, Adrian. Very sweet of you. I have, to, Adrian, I have to tell you something that you will yeah. find very interesting. Susan was a guest speaker in my skeptics class. And one of the people in the skeptics class is definitely not a skeptic. He's a big conspiracy theorist, but of logical conspiracies. He doesn't believe in Q, but he does believe that the JFK assassination mm. was a conspiracy. He teaches classes for Ali in why the conspiracies are right. And he has told me that he no longer uses eyewitness testimony after taking my class because he knows uh, that eyewitness testimony wow. is unreliable. Wow, that's good. Very well, good. Susan came and talked to my class, and he was so impressed, Susan, that he has asked if I could ask you when he does this, his class, Kept his conspiracy class next semester. He he needs a guest speaker because the class complains that he needs doesn't have two points of view and he wants a good point of view. So we suggested that you and I could come and be the other point of view. Oh, that'll be sweet. Cool. Very nice of him. So we are we are we are nudging him in another in another direction. Well, well done. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Good night, Vincent. Good night, Vincent. Good night. Vincent. Good night. Take, Good night. Take care Good night. of yourself, Vincent. Everyone, everybody. I'm heading out. Okay. Take care of yourself, Vincent, and I'm remember sorry, Vincent. you're being recorded. I will see you. Yes. <laughs> I do you record surgery, out. so you will be being recorded. <laughs> yeah. Adrian, we got to make sure that we can get into... Uh, you should, Vincent, before you go under the anesthesia, yeah. you should look at the anesthesiologist or the doctor and go, this is being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I then, love that. And I would be afraid that they would stop the surgery. <laughs> <laughs> no, they'll just laugh and keep going. And they'll be like, oh, it's just the drug stalking. Just keep, yeah. Keep yeah. My yeah. hip replacement surgery was recorded. So, uh, oh. yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they actually do do that for surgery. Yeah, sure sure they they hopefully, it wasn't for America's Funniest Film Video. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that would not be good. Hope not. Yes. <laughs> So is um, it in, in Google Docs or is it in Google Drive, Susan? What? Vincent's surgery is not going to be on Google Docs. Google. <laughs> Are you talking about social trivia by Susan? Yes. Google, Google Drive. Is it Docs? Isn't it? Drive.google.com slash. Yeah. Docs.google.com. Just send her the send share. Docs. Okay. I Thank sent you. her the share. Here it is. Yeah. Did it open? I haven't received it yet. What sent to social trivia by Susan? All right, well, 30 minutes we'll see ago. You, see you guys. Oh, later. really? Yeah, it's docs, it's Google Docs. Oh.
Take care, everybody. Google Docs. Good night, Leonard. Good night, Leonard. Good night, Leonard. Good night, Leonard. It's not showing up. So it's not showing up in my shared with me. So it should I'll... be in your email. No. Okay. I emailed you a link. Right. I hit share. You should have a document, an email that says shared with you. Karen, did you get one? I can't. I don't have an email. You know what you can do instead of share that. You can just copy the URL, copy the address, and paste it into the body of an email. Let me copy link. But yeah, no, I nothing came. Okay, let me copy link and try it that way. Because if you share, there's also another step to indicate notify the person. Sometimes it doesn't prompt it if they have a Gmail yeah. account. Okay, did you get that, Adrian? I send it to your um which one? A AL Hill 42? No, I send it to Messenger. Oh, Messenger. Okay. Sorry. So I just made a link here, caring, caring, okay. did the same thing. Oh, I don't, yeah, I don't do messenger. It's too, oh. too rife with, uh, rife with, uh, fake videos. I do old fashioned messenger. Emails. What? What? Do yeah, you use oh, thanks, Carl. Use In cabin messenger, paper? People, they send these things. They say, oh, Rob, uh, he, I just found this video of us. I should have given it. So it says I don't have access. And it looks like it's from a friend, but really it's a hackerelli. You should be able to request okay, access. Okay, now it's there. It. Now? Oh, okay, yeah. You see. guys could use smoke signals. <sighs> <laughs> Morse code. I'm so, Susan, I'm Pony Express. I was browsing and I wasn't watching the screen. Somebody was talking about you having joined their class to talk about who who was saying that? Gail. Gail. Okay, so Gail, Gail, she's not here anymore. Gail left. Ugh. All right. Th this article was recently published in Skeptical Inquirer that I just put in the chat. It had to do with it sounds like the person in her class could do to read it. it has to oh, do yeah. with small skepticism, meaning, you know, I don't believe anything versus capital S skepticism. Um, by the other Massimo? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now I've emailed Karen and Adrian the link. It says anybody with the link can, can there you go. God, I've got like 12 messages here. <laughs> okay. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. All right. I think we have, have a all good set, Thanksgiving, right? people. From yep. Good night, you too. See you and next week. Good, good night, Thanksgiving. Ben. Good night, Romero and Faye. Okay, yeah, I think somebody's. Good night, Jamie. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tonight, Wendy is seeing um, Inherit the Wind. I saw on Facebook. Oh, with uh, she's with that other woman, Susan, who was uh, played Don't trivia forget. a couple times. Las Vegas uh, Grand Prix this weekend. Oh, that's right. Eight hundred dollars for on tickets. Saturday. Eight hundred dollars. I wouldn't go to that if you if you offered me money to go there. Eight hundred dollars. You pay me eight hundred dollars. Pay me eight hundred dollars, I'd go. They, <laughs> what about you the, ending there? And the walkways where they frosted so people uh, could look. So funny. And then they ripped well, it actually, off. Actually, people went and peeled it off because they were just <laughs> like, "You're not going to stop us from watching this for free." Well, they probably are putting it tunnel, back on the night before, though. Rob oh, yeah. and I were walking in a tunnel, Different. and he's like, "Why is it all like a big wall around the outside of it?" And we're like, "Oh, they don't want anybody to be able to walk through the walkthrough and see anything." Yeah. Yep. Why would the town do this? It seems like so stupid, you know, but that much money? Tons and tons and tons of money in Formula One. Yeah. Dump trucks full of money in Formula One. Well, couldn't they just do it like outside the city limits? Yes. And they would still attract <laughs> They could, people, but they... there's a certain cachet to street circuits and yeah. doing doing a race on like the Las Vegas Strip is like one of the most iconic ideas you can have for a street circuit. Yeah. Also, taxes are different. Money, in, up with it. If it's in city limits versus county land, the tax revenue is different. I'm so glad I'm not there this weekend. <laughs> yeah, there's a certain romance to racing these cars through the middle of a, a city. I mean, they've been doing it in Europe for yeah. decades. And I think that's why they thought Vegas would be a great, great place to um, have it. Apparently, it didn't work out so well. Well, who, it, it didn't well work out well. In Las Vegas. Uh, yeah, they're going to make a mint. Because the traffic's been was brutal. Yeah. So, 
Why did Ron Palmer send this um, problem with skepticism article out, which personally I found kind of uh, boring? Which one is this? The, oh, yes, the article by it in response to yeah, Gail saying look, that about the oh. skeptic. Who... No, if you look in chat, he sent out the link to the cool. skeptic inquirer. The oh, oh, this one? Yeah, and I, the Philosopher's Corner, oh, I thought it was one of the philosophy. worst articles he's ever written. I just, I'm like. Yeah, I, I agree with John you. I did not like this article at all. Such yeah, such I'm actually a big fan of Mathemos, but I wasn't impressed by that article. I, I find this the, one to be one of the most boring topics ever, is people want to change the name. They don't like the name. Was that what it's, this is about? Yeah, it's like it. changing the name. Is there a problem with the word skepticism? Oh, using another they're, getting, thing. they're getting it confused with a cynic. It's stupid. We don't have oh. this problem like this. I mean, people say we do. Yeah, skeptic. It not a cynic. Not a cynic. Yeah, people <laughs> say we have this problem, but skeptic is just, an, you use the word and it allows you to be able to explain. Mm -hmm. I'm. Yeah. You don't right, have right? these words, skeptic. You say, I'm a critical thinker. And I know you were also, or I'm it's a scientific so, it's, skeptic. I, mean, I find it so interesting how these debates over words enter all fields, because I have battled in the Tourette, OCD, uh, ADHD, etc. world. Parents and schools very hesitant to label children. But how else are we going to talk about the issues that need to mm -hmm. be dealt with? As you said, and we, we need a language to be able to talk about strategies and going forward and all this stuff. Like, what am I going to say? The kid has ADHD. Oh, we don't like that word. It's, you know, stigmatized now. So therefore we have to come up with something else, but then it's confusing. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, but, you know, the problem with changing these names is that, well, that name's going to become st a stigma. Yeah, uh -huh. you know, like it's better just to educate and, and yeah. keep clarifying right. I mean, and keep clarifying. If, if yeah. we were to collectively yeah. pick a different name for skepticism, eventually that would get co-opted yeah. by the people we're trying to dissociate yeah. ourselves from anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what pissed me off about UAPs. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that it's <laughs> what are you trying to prove here, you people? Yeah. Also, I've I've noticed that you know one form of strongman argument is to uh mischaracter you know the semantic argument is sort of a strong strong man yeah. art uh argument and it and it pisses me off because it's, it's like don't don't rename something or tell me i've got the name wrong or the definition <laughs> wrong or something it, that's not an argument if yeah. if you want to have an, a philosophical argument let's agree on a definition and proceed from there mm -hmm. but don't tell me that i'm wrong because i have the wrong definition of the word or something like that yeah uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yep. No, I agree. No, I agree. I just every time I hear this, um, every time I hear this argument about the word skeptic, I tune out. I'm like, well, one of the things Tim Mendham ages. Why are we ago, having this argument asked again? Me, asked me to write an article about skepticism in Canada, and I haven't written it yet because any time that I Google skepticism in Cal Canada, I get such and such is skeptical of the Canadian government <laughs> or such and such is skeptical of vaccines. And I'm going, uh, uh, you know, I can't find anything about skepticism in Canada unless you're using it the other way, the co-opted way, right? The sort of the, so I haven't written it. And I don't know what to do. I have to talk to him, I guess, but it doesn't seem to exist. I'll be in seeing Canada. him in a week or a week <gasps> and a half. He's so funny. <laughs> he's, a, he's such a good guy <laughs> and uh in this latest newsletter that i have to read or i read today for the newsletter this week it has some canadian content he likes to find the canadian content and i'd sent him the same thing but he wrote the newsletter before i said it to him i just didn't hadn't got the newsletter yet and i said oh you gotta see this and he is so funny about it you're gonna have to listen to the the newsletter but yeah, it's it's about the the royal family in Canada and some really weird stuff. It's just it's a very very clever 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 guy. 
Um, don't let me forget, Adrian. Got to make sure you can get into the trivia. In, oh, into the Zoom. Uh, Zoom. Uh, and so, if I have your, will you be giving me my password? How does or your password? How does it work? Because that's how I used how I always got in for uh, Atheist Society of Calgary when I was on the board. I, I give just... you I give you the uh, email and the password, and then you okay. open it, and then it says somebody's trying to access from somewhere else, and they send a phone link a link a number to my phone. I think. Okay, so two factored. I think so. So you know what you could do? You could add possibly my telephone number <laughs> for two factor because you're going to be on the other side of the planet you may be asleep <laughs> no we'll do it before i'll do it i mean we'll do oh, it so I leave. it is, doesn't happen every time then it just will happen mm, yeah okay gotcha yeah yeah it's just Perfect. i think it's the one time let me think um well what time is it in hey sorry what time is it in new zealand it's 7 14 it's 7 14, 7 14 p.m, p.m. Well new zealand 7 14 p.m yeah i just got a message from them they asked me for my flight details oh huh. they're still up but it's tomorrow um i no, thought they were five hours uh, behind us but tomorrow no they're well sydney is plus 18 hours three. Three. and i think they're two hours either less or more one of the two i can't remember which because i've got i've got sydney on my phone because richard mm -hmm. Though he's not there right now, <laughs> so it's kind of irre irrelevant. Body. I mean, this is what I want to do. And this. Maybe I thought. Oh, I still haven't written all my. I haven't written all my talks. I keep getting caught up in things. Okay, so it'd be seven fifteen p.m. in Wellington. Okay. So here. So it's. So in essence, three hours. It's two hours it, more. Yeah, you can either Australia. Or, uh, yeah. Twenty-one hours ahead or three hours back. Take your. Oh yeah. <laughs> so they're in the future. Hours, they're in the future. Back, Across day. that vast Pacific Ocean, and it's only three hours. Well, seven fifteen p.m. Uh, but it's tomorrow. But it's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess that explains it. Sort of, not really. Anyway, I'm going to go walk my dogs. Yeah. All right, you guys, I All guess right, we should Robin. go. I've yeah, got a... My alarm goes off at 5 a.m. Oh, Lee. Bye. 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 Well, I, do, Bye. I do that consulting Bye. work, Bye. and I work a lot with the East Coast. So if I start oh. at in the morning, oh. I yeah. get off at 3, so I have at least a couple hours of daylight left. Hmm. That works. All right. I when struggle to get up at six thirty. Adrian and I both saw that email from you. And she goes, "Yes, Lee's I was so excited. GSOW. Lee's gonna join GSOW." I said, "No, it was. I I thought so too. And I thought, well, that's odd. He didn't say anything to me about it, so he's not got a lot of time. I don't know why he would be doing that." Oh, excuse me. I said, "No, just the wrong length." All right, you guys. Milk duds. Hey, have a night. Nice, have a nice flight. And, uh, yeah, what are you flying? Yeah, we'll be around. I'm not going anywhere too far. I'm going to fly. I thought you go to New Zealand this Saturday. Hmm? I thought you're flying to New Zealand on Saturday. Sunday. Sunday. Okay. All right. Yeah, have but a nice flight on Zoom. I'm just here. It's not like it's a big difference. Hey, I wouldn't we'll see me on Facebook. Hours in an you're aluminum tube to my worst. Flying in tomorrow, and you're gonna have to like figure out how to hang on so you don't fall off the underside of the planet. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. Stop yawning, everybody. Tell Tell Amy Ballantine I said hi. Okay. Good. Happy travels. <laughs>